Well, hello, hello. So we've been tracking down the uh, Crimson Mafia targets. We're at 18 of 25 now. So I figured we'd hop in, keep on plugging away at it. We'll see how many of them we can get. See how many we can deplete. Might have to break up streams a few little bits there, but we'll keep on doing there until they're done. So system scans show that they're still here, definitely poking around. They have been trying to hit the nav beacon. I hopped in there a little bit. They are moving. So we'll keep an eye out. I don't want them leaving. I want them to stay here in the system. So give them a little wiggle room, at least they'll stay. So we're going to hop right over there and get rid of them. I'm actually in the uh, courier. We're going to try a little high-speed combat. I went to the nav, poked around there a little bit just to get some extra dollar crunch just in case we needed it. So I'm going to try the courier, hop into the instance and see if the courier is quick enough and tough enough to handle the extra tank that Crimson Mafia's got. They got a lot of military backing, so they got a lot of military upgrades on their vessels. So the courier's military as well. Off, awfully fast interceptor vessel, we'll say. So we'll hop in there and we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's make sure all the stuff is working here. Double check. Pop this over here. Like so. Okay, so there's that. I don't have the delay on, just because uh, it's a little easier. But if I need to, I will engage it, just so that keep up the chat. But other than that... Um, Got it on turbo mode. <laughs> I've got the overclocker clicking, so we're going to hop in there and see if that doesn't do anything else. Uh, hop over here like so. Hop back into here. Hop into the old pilot seat. Make sure we're good there. All right. Ready. We're ready. If I have to do any changes to the ship, I will. Um, it is ready to go. You have been disengaged from the dock. Be careful to observe restrictions when leaving the station. Yeah. Gotcha. There ain't a whole lot of people here, so... Just me, buddies. We're out. Gone. Let's check our uh, modulations here. Is that good there? Fuel scoop I have, but I really don't need. So we're good. Let's hop into uh, Super Cruise here and then scan, see if we can pick those dudes up. I've been hanging around the same location. I did a little bit of switch around. Uh, ditch the menu a little bit just because it's easier. It wasn't showing me everything I needed, so I had to do a little bit of rework there. So, nothing on there. Slow all the way down. Scanner again. Weapons fire. It's Kachaka. Encoded emissions. I'm going to check it all. Envoy, our nav, source, our signals, prospect, beacons, settlement, Oop. unidentified, weapons fire, resource, nothing, nothing. Over this planetary ring. Okay, to ease her up. Spectral analysis. Come on, baby. There you go. Alright. Where are they?
here somewhere. Check all the signals. There we go. Got him. I did change out one of the uh, shield boosters on the ass from the A to the B just to free up a little bit of extra power in the power grid. It doesn't really need the extra to hold it. It's going to go down if it's going to go down, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, but I need it to power up a little quicker, and the A takes too long. So. I flew around earlier, I could not find Biweave 1 near where we're at. They just don't have one near where we are. I'd have to go all the way back to a military base somewhere else, and I just don't have time for that. So, so we got about 20 hours left for this strike contract, more or less. We got 18 targets. They take a while to take down. Because they're tanking awfully hard, just doing a lot of nerfing. Uh, doing a lot of loadout switching. Last stream there, the Cobra had so many different weapons on it that it cycled through. It's like, how many slots? Last time I checked, the Cobra's only got four gun slots, but I guess. Give it six, you know? Go for it. So there's a lot of dumb happening there, but we're aware of it. And we know it needs the help AI-wise, because it definitely is not a human pilot. It can't do things like that. So rubber banding for sure it was doing a lot of nerf and dropping us down to 25%. Even literally stopping our actions as far as controls were. Like, it would not let us do some of the maneuvers we were trying to do. It would literally stop it. It would be like, no, don't do that, because then I'll lose the ship. Yes. So, we'll be hot on that, of course, paying super close attention to it. So we really kept the heat on there yesterday. Through to this morning, really. Because um, it was a long stream. Almost seven hours, really. We were on there. Hot combat, so... Figured I'd try the Courier just to see. The Viper Mark IV was um, not enough. Almost, but not enough. I don't have enough stuff on it modded out properly for it to be able to hold its own in that sort of a situation. The Courier, on the other hand, is a little faster. So maybe with speed, even with it nerfing the speed down, it might still be quick enough. Because it's definitely almost too fast for combat. Uh, the way that I got it set up. So it might work out. I have to see. It's got three um, class 2 multi-cannons on there. Military spec. Might be enough damage. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. If it's not, that's fine. No problem. We're just doing one round with it. And if it holds its own, great. We'll keep on going. If not, we'll hop back in the Asp. And we'll take the Asp uh, Destroyer over there. The Icarus. And we'll zero tolerance the whole area until they're gone. Got to keep running back and getting ammo. It looks like there is a uh, frigate nearby. I may dock at the frigate and save myself the trip all the way back every time. I'll dock at the frigate and get ammo from there if they have it. So I'll have to check and see. So I might as well do that right now since I were close. Uh, I don't see any vessels here today. Let's see. Nope, I don't see any. Let me double check and make sure. That for some reason I didn't lock them off. Nope, I got locked off. Okay, so there is one close by. Departure, notorious, not allowed. Okay, good. So we can probably dock at that one. Let's see. Not sure if they got any weapon stuff, but they might. So we'll check there. It is close by where we're at, so we'll check at that um, frigate and see if they have any weapons, because we do need to get restocked with bullets. That's one thing that is the trick on this. We need the bullets. So I'll also check... Uh, let's see. So we're all good there with that. 
Looking good there. In synthesis, I think I'm right out. Don't have enough. It wouldn't let me repair my guns yesterday, but I had everything on there to be able to fix the guns. It just wouldn't let me get in there and fix them. Clearly, I could have shut them down and fixed them, but it was like, nope, you can't do that. And it's like, why? I have everything to repair them on me. There's nothing to stop it from doing that. I checked it out earlier to make sure it worked. It does work. You can literally do it. I went to the, the location and literally pissed them off to the point where they targeted my weapons. Waited, let them blow it up, and I went into the module, shut the module down, and did the repair. So it's only in these instances that are tied to missions is this issue popping up. It wasn't doing it in regular combat missions. It was only doing it in these missions. So if I go to the nav beacon and select any random target, it's not doing it there. It's only doing it in these actual missions that come from the powers within Stellar Forge itself. Isolated target, you can power them up, power them down, do the repairs, everything, no issue. Because I had a module that was active, I went into it, it had taken damage, I shut it down, went into the synthesis and did the repair right immediately. Powered it back online, no problem. All with the ship still up and operational and running. I've done it before millions of times and it's never had an issue, so it's only doing it in the missions. I just had to make sure and confirm they didn't make any changes in there. So clearly it's just this that was doing it. Because we literally were in combat, we had a, one of the ships was just BS, just more delay, more money cash out. It's not immersion, it was just being stupid. Somehow it shut down four guns simultaneously and it didn't have any way to do that. It was literally just shooting at us directly. Can't shut four guns down. They're not in the same power grid. They have to do it individually. So I went in there and I said, okay, that's BS. Gotta fix that. So... Made some notes in the pilot logs, it was quite extensive. The other day we had a lot of stuff in there also, um, issue-wise, that was happening as well. So I really had to make sure... I've seen you. This is good. So, long list. I don't know. I have to see if uh, Frontier makes any changes by next Thursday with some basics, but they got a lot of stuff in there that they're just not taking. Ship can boost three times, just FYI. Chat there. There's zero reason why it can't boost. It's just not letting me go. Got all power into the engines, so. It's a dog in there. Pay attention to the weapons on you. Load it out with. Because they will change them. You know how many weapon slots Cobra Mark 3 has? And it does it. You see what it's running. Clearly, that's two different guns right there. That's two hard points. You see what it's running. It's gonna have one hellacious time trying to get through those generators. I got this thing stagger stuff, so this is good in my technology. It's awfully shield thing. Major rubber band right there, just stretching it out. Bye, I guess. Wouldn't let me go. Literally nothing. That in here, boost, 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 and get nothing. I mean, that's game. I'll tell you this much, little cobra, you're gonna have to do something different than that, because you're not gonna cut through that. Try it, but it's not going to happen. Complete blank. You can see how the other ships are trying to fly directly inside the range. Literally trying to get hit so that they can start into the combat too. Wouldn't let me boost and wait for something. Had more than enough. These engines can boost three times. Combat with weapons blades. We're done fighting this guy, I'll take it to the man beacon. Just the mission instances that it's doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
extra nerve. Reload me up, Jefferson. Let me double boost so it won't let me pull the high G and literally hit boost. You want it after. Be hitting boost right now. Follow him around the turn and be right on him. Still flips around as fast as I am. You already know that he can. annoying because I can't get the ship to go. I just won't. I'll show you at the nav after how she flies. I've done it multiple times on the screen. The ship is not this slow. Off we nerf. Nerf at 75, but it feels like a regular ship in about 50. That's what it feels like. You just won't pull the maneuvers. It won't go, it won't boost. All way light. He's already gone. I mean, I pressed boost before he was even on me. Oh wait. Eight Toro Toro. What are you doing? Just flying. It's slow. Try to get 
trying to get his shields back online. See, he's got different guns now. He's changing weapons. Feels like I'm flying in a Sidewinder, not an Imperial Courier with A class everything. Really sucky. We've got two multi cannons and we've got those two blasters. He changes up and starts shooting some other dumb shit, and we know he's. the shields down, you know, the guy yeah, went up the shields. I thought you had the Mark III, not as good as the III. Not even close. You can fly circles around. Won't let me. Mark this thing. Really not that great for that Mark You can see how good they are. Not very good. They've been dead a long time ago if they would have let me use their guns. Or my engines. I mean, it's fucking good as I am. Alright, enough cat and mouse. Bye bye, buddy. You time it. Watch how long it takes. Remember all that. The thing that you just seen. Remember everything that you looked at. You go dock at the starbase, put some more rounds in real quick. We'll go over to the nav beacon, forget these guys for a second. Out of the mission, more or less. And I'll show you. You could even leave the system. It's even better even leaving the system. We'll stay in the system, because I don't feel like flying around that much. You know, they give you 22 hours to take out this... Well, 25 hours, barely even a squeeze over a day, to take out 25 targets. you got to take out one an hour. Well, when you got to fight combat this fucking slow, you're really pushing it. They're nerfing it that bad, and you can't fly your ship the way that your ship flies. It makes it take even longer than that. The chance for success and fail goes down dramatically. It's not 50-50. It's bad. So it's annoying and stupid, and it doesn't make it fun, because you can't actually fly your ship. It's just stupid. It's a long pilot log on this one. This one's really bad. In Legacy, it's... Awfully bad, but it's not as bad as this. This is really rough in here. Really rough. Yesterday it changed loadout on that ship like three times. It had all kinds of stuff in there. Which, you know, I let the AI switch up the weapons as much as it wants. We already know it. It's got four hard points and the thing was using eight different hard point arrangements in there. It's like, we already know it doesn't have that. 
is clear. But it needs that. It needs to be able to switch its stuff up. It had missile turret defense, even though it didn't have the module. It did afterwards. I checked it earlier today and really put it through the, the mill. I put missile racks on here and flew through there. I did all kinds of stuff. I'm no further ahead taking out one more target. Because we're at the halfway mark on that initial run. I got two more to get to ten. It's always the hump, and then, it'll, then it eases up. After I get the next two targets, then it eases back up again, and from... 11 to we'll say like 13 or 14 it'll be a gradual increase again up once we get to 15 target it's it's going to be rough and then it gets to this point where you're like the hell is going on right so again it's tricky on how the whole thing is because you're trying to measure you can't just fly the ship that you've set up that you've got hours you have to try and measure how bad can't fly in, and, and the parameters for this other vessel, it's just stupid. That's why I don't really come in Odyssey too much. Part of the problem. Does it pretty bad in Legacy 2. Regular Horizons had it. Once they added that in, because it, it's another layer to the game, on top of the existing. It did make it rough. We're supposed to go in there and make some changes to it, and they did smooth it out a little bit. It's, it's still nerfs. It's awfully predictable, we'll say. On here, it's very clockwork-like. Very limited in the flight parameters, but... It is getting better with some of the bigger ships. They've been messing with the bigger ships' flight parameters, because they were really sucky. It was, like, too easy. Big ships didn't do anything, so now they're being a little tankier. Now that offset to that is the small ships now doesn't matter what rank it is. They could be not... They could be rookies, more or less. The lowest of the low. Not dangerous, we'll say. And they're flying like they're freaking elite level, trying to pull some moves and stuff. Ship's running some spicy stuff up there. Like I said, we know they got military-grade ships and weaponry and all that fun stuff. It's Crimson Mafias. They've already hijacked some stuff, but it's still done. So, we'll go back here for a sec. I'll put some bullets in. We'll go to the nav beacon. We'll have to make sure we clear this nerf. Because it's still nerf. Let Jefferson power up shields real quick. And you'll see. I'll slow this down right here. Two in engines, clearly I can boost twice. Power up super crews. That's how fast it is. Doesn't matter. Unless I'm mass locked, that's how fast it goes. I'm going a very short distance. It doesn't take as long as it was taken in the other instance. It's hot BX. I've had it actually set there for almost 45 real life minutes in there with that. Because it won't let you leave. The last combat situation we were in there yesterday, the dude was racking off missiles like he had a hundred missile racks. We already know. We had already shot and depleted both the missile racks. There was no way he had anything to do with some missiles. It's just not. Serious cheatsy dudes. I'm here, boys. Give me a good pad to land at. I'm gonna go check out your nav beacon. Give me my freaking hips, chief. Time to get across. Thank you, boys. 36, huh? Love it. Landing gear deployed. Oh, loitering. I had to really give her. 
because it's less than a second by one of the pads that has a light on it, and they flip a cookie. After they light it up when you fly past it, it's like a trick. Oh, I'm not saying. Even me. Just needed some stuff. Oh, I'm ready. Bye bye. Please note we do not tolerate reckless flying within this facility, Commander. I don't give a shit. Facility sucks, your docking sucks, your on site stuff sucks. I don't care who's there, I don't care who's in the system. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. You are all clear to follow your predetermined flight. Perfect, path. thanks. I'm out of here. Bye bye. See ya. Long. Got things to do. I had 18 pirates that I need to destroy. You guys make everything take too long. Alright. So. I also need to check this other star port over here. So once we're done with these boys, before we leave, I need to find out what resources they have here at Purbach Holdings. I've got an interest in what they can't do. So these guys are coming in and out of here, and they're flying to the other system because I know that's where they're going. And I got those other systems marked already in the pilot's logs. I need to know if there's anything here of use. Somehow that they can get to, or if they're only isolated to be able to use the frigates. So they wouldn't be able to gain access to the starports unless the starport has certain things. And if it does, how are they getting it? They've been hanging around that planet over there, and there isn't anything on that planet that they could use. There's nothing there. We've got no ties to it. As I checked. I did that earlier, too. Going into that starport there every five seconds, it's like it doesn't matter what you do in there, it's never right. So, might as well pull the full range of it. I'll drive right straight through whatever ship is in my way. I was already offloaded and flying out. So, the other ship that was coming through there could have scooched over. He didn't want to, so frick him, frick the dude running the comms on giving directions on who comes in and out of there. You fly past, you're landing, you're heading to your landing pad, they light one up right in front of you and do an incursion on you and go, oh, well, you get fined for that because you're flying over a landing pad, loitering. The whole starport's fucked, basically. The system isn't as bad as Llama Llama, the other one that was on there the other day, but it's bad. It's definitely got a lot of dumb shit going on. It's player-operated here. That's the problem. Stellar Forge wouldn't be doing all this dumb shit. Like I said, they've been tampering with ways to work around Stellar Forge's stuff, so... Let's see who's all here. So there's the nav beacon. Let's swing her around and let's see who's interested in this. So who's coming to this direction? No ship. One ship's flying away, he's going to the starport. The other one's heading to the other starport, which is that other star pass there. Let's see what this guy does. He's flying slow. There he goes. No interest. Alright. So no one. Good. So let's go find out what's here. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Anything different? It's a 
Zero issue, boosting and shooting. Zero issue. You can literally boost almost endlessly with this ship. Just the mission. Hit and boost. Drop target on you. Right? Because I'm hotting it up so fast. Drop target so it can get its advantage, right? It's elite level, right? I know this. I'm gonna try and take me out. Drop target again. It's the third time it's dropped target, right? Clearly I could have been shooting it that whole time. It's the third time that it's dropped target. Third time. Let's see. I'm gonna start nerfing me here shortly. I've got a very small window. Drop shields down on this pretty tight saddle. So you grab the front of my ship. There's one. We're at 25%. Going, buddy. Gotta be class, stagger stuff. Hey, brunt force. Still didn't drop shields. Pray not. While I'm running, full on weapon.
buy a leaf level pilot. Mass disruption eight. Still took last time I did in the other one. It's uh those missions are just ridiculous. Alright, we're going back to Blotter for a second. I'm gonna go check something real quick. And then I'll be back. I'm gonna go see if they've got a fuel tank over there. I need that 8 on the ass so I can get a little bit lighter turnaround. She's a little heavy. 16 is too much. That's half. I need a quarter of the fuel tank, so I need one a little smaller. So I'm gonna go take a peek. Gotta find something a little less. I know I got something small enough on another ship, but again, it's like, you know. I don't care about anything here. I'm not hot in the nav beacon up or nothing. So. I don't look there's anybody here. So it's still empty. Just the same emptiness. That's perfect. I literally killed every ship within a hundred light years, except for Kachaka system. There isn't a single thing in here that's causing any issue. No pirates, not even a freaking sidewinder out of line. So that was a lot of work. It was like 15 hours, just like we had to do before. So, we'll go here. I need to check. This is the only place I didn't go to. Find out if they got a fuel tank that's an 8. I need an 8. I don't want to buy it, put it onto this ship. What I want to do is buy it, leave it in storage, go back to the other one, then take care of it by swapping it out, and then leave the 16 there so that I can put it back on. Because I need the 16 on the ass to go do exploration. The 8 is awfully risky. Because most of the jump ranges will use a decent chunk. You really have to keep your eye on fuel then. 16 gives you at least two jumps. Figure it out. And 8, you only got one. So, prefer at least a 16 for when you're flying around. But local combat stuff, you just need an 8. 8's more than that. I'm not sure what size one I got on the... No, it's pretty low. Might be a two, maybe. Maybe a four. Oh, it's got a fuel scoop. Fly it around. It does get pretty good gas mileage on here as far as exploration wise, but we'll see. Find out what's what. Finish these freaking Crimson Mafia bastards off. That's the focus. So get this fuel tank. I was trying to find the bioweaves, but. It's just, there's none. Not a single freaking place has them in stock. They usually carry them, but they just, I need it, and they don't have it. So, I'd have to fly too far, and I'm not, I don't have time for that. Clock's a ticking on the contract for this one, so. These are all trade and travel, resource extraction ones, so. Let them do their thing. Let's come over here to the base. Let's see what we got. Our little resource extraction, it's nice and clear. Got no ship signals here, just the basics. A couple undiscovered ones there. It's still good here, too. So, nothing anywhere. Just a couple ships head back. Resource extraction. Perfect. Love it. So, Shablezel. See if they got an 8. Put it into storage. How much was that idiot worth? Yeah, that's pretty good. 313, so that's good. That'll work. Not bad. Boom. 
drop me down. We're still looking pretty good for weapons. Didn't use too much. Alright, get me within range here. got an envelope on this bastard. Huh. I didn't notice that before. Must be for their security ships. That's interesting. So this one's facing this way and the other one's facing the opposite direction. Tell you what, I ain't parking around with them. note about that tower. I kind of made some specific starport notes earlier. Trying to see if I could build a pretty badass looking starport. Got a lot of options. Some different pieces on these wireframes to make some really cool stuff. You can also use it for some other things too, which is pretty good. Makes some badass looking bases. Planet side cool and also everywhere else really. Got some decent stuff. They just aren't using it additively. I need starport services. I don't care about anything else. Contact. Interstellar. Take care of this stupid fine. So what, I can't take care of the fine? Why not? says no find detected. So what? Take care of the find here? Oh, okay. Primarily. I guess. 100 credits, I don't give a shit. What I want is I want to cash out Billy Wonka there. So, cash him out. So, 100 less, but made 300,000, so I really don't care. Alright, cool. Now, what we're interested in. Do they have an 8? Because that's what I want. Doesn't matter what ship fuel tank, I just need an 8. Need it for the Icarus. They don't have it. I think Olaf is the next one that might possibly carry fuel tanks. I gotta have the fuel tank. Need it. Need the old fuel tank. That should show me. They do have an 8 right here. So I'm running before I do that. I've got a 4 on here. I'm going to buy the 8. Right? I'm going to go back. I'm going to put my 2 back on. I'm going to go back into it. Right? Buy the 8. Oh, I gotta do it different. I gotta buy the eight. So now I got two eight. We're gonna need that for later. Let's go back. Let's put my two back on. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we got two eights. We'll transfer one over there. We'll leave one here. That way I got one for each location because I, I need it for sure. 
I also need to check while I'm actually here. This one's bottom deck. So what I need to do, place module, do they have... Impossible to run missiles on this. It's just never going to happen. There's no way. I could run a gimbaled fragment cannon, which is what I want. It's a little more juice, but it's not that much. It definitely deals more damage. Alternatively, go back. Could run them on the wing. How much saturation is that going to be? Pretty wide. Not really center mass. Let's risk it. Yeah, it would have to be this one. I'd have to do it on this one. This one would have to be the fragment cannon. And that's fine. I'll do that. Stores the multi cannon. What I'm going to do is this base here got most of their stuff from the military base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this module for the gun and buy two more so I've got some backups. Because I got none anywhere else. I got none. So I'll do that. I'll go back in here and I'll buy another one. 2F, right? And though I have one, because these are also military spec. These are from the military base, because there used to be one here. Same gun. You can see the same servos and everything on here. It's the same thing. Depends on who stocks it. So these are all stocked. I'll go into this one. I'm going to store the module, and I'll do the same thing. Ones on the Icarus that are here are directly from the same base that I bought all the other parts for the other ASP. So that way I've got two replacements. I don't mind doing that. So when we come down here, let's get another one. There we go. So the dude we just took out, more or less. A combination. So we lost a couple mil, but it's worth it. Alright, so we got our fragment cannon underneath. So when that thing goes off, it shoots, it's out. I'll have to be very cautious on how I swing the ship around. But again, that was an elite level ship, right? It was not the same as we were just fighting, which was three grades lower in capacity with that Cobra. It wouldn't let me boost or keep on target with that. Yes, it can fly a little bit better than the Type 7, but that's an elite level pilot, so he gets an extra. He's got two more bars, which is obviously in his maneuverability. So even loaded like he was, he was tanked out, obviously, with that. Tanked out hull mass-wise and shield. So took some work to would dwindle it down. We definitely didn't have any issue hitting boost. We definitely, and we were guns blazing the whole time, we definitely didn't have any issue with shield integrity on there. We point-blank right straight into a Type 7, which outweighs this ship by so much. It's ridiculous. Still didn't lose shields. Thermal weapons doesn't make one frick of a difference what you're using. It's got some serious nerfing going on with those missions. That needs to be remapped in their elite ones, because that's off by a lot. That's too much. It's too noticeable. It doesn't make it fair in the space when you're flying ships that are lesser, clearly. I mean, I, I've got multiple targets. If I was to have an issue there, let's say, and accidentally pop around off in another ship, I would be instantly dead. Fighting more than one ship in that instance is almost zero life expectancy. You screw up and hit three of them, you're done. That's it. They blow you up in two seconds. Game over. Doesn't matter if you're at 100% hull, doesn't matter if you're at 100% shields, you're dead. It's done. It's like a contested nav beacon or one of those um, oh, power struggle missions where you've got an endless wave that just won't end. You almost need a wing in there to try to saturate it out, spread the load out of what you're dealing with. It's too much. All right, Jefferson, we're going back. Not hit the nav here. When I go back to the other system, I'm going to hit the nav there one more time. See how these hold up. So I'm going to keep this particular one, this class 2, 
have an interest in for later. Do something with that. So we still got 21 hours left. Let's go back to Kakrapa over here. Our problem child, currently. Between that system and the other one, it's bad. So once we get done actually taking these stupid pirate bastards out, I got a couple of systems we got to go take a look at. LT8750 and Lamadi, both those two systems Crimson Mafia is operating in. They don't immediately give us the next target, the Don, more or less, of the Mafia. Then we're going on to those systems and hot them up. Nav beacon and everything. Doesn't make any difference what's there. Everything that has a wanted sign on it will get shot. Whatever ship. We'll flush them out. We have to get their percent down under the bar. It's got to get under that bar, that last little bit. I think it's like either 5% or 10%. And then what happens is they start really getting desperate. You'll watch Stellar Forge will move them in the market. You'll see the power shifting around. All the other entities that are in the same space with them, they'll notice that they're having problems and they'll move against them too. So while the other factions are moving against them directly, because they will, what we gotta do is we gotta hit them at that point. That's when we gotta go out. As soon as the other parties by Stellar Forge's action, move against Crimson Mafia, then we have to move against Crimson Mafia. At the same time. Simultaneously. Then we'll eradicate them from Stellar Forge. They won't be in the game. They'll be gone. And they won't pop back in. Once it's that low, that's it. It's game over. So let's get to the other side of old Grouchy Star here. Let's get to this nav beacon real quick. A couple of ships, but they're not too busy. Let's hop in here and see what we got going on. Those blotters got like nothing. Everything that way is, there's nothing. There's not any ships coming in and out of there, that's a problem. It's casual sailing. We've pushed them all this direction. So that's good. Keep them focused on us, away from the tourist area, so that blotter system can get trade and travel back in. We gotta shift power out of Imperial Flag. We gotta take it back away from that player faction and that system. They can't have that hub. What should have happened is Frontier should have locked down those central hubs and said player factions can't operate in central hubs. Those must remain within Stellar Forge, because it disrupts the entire area, having a player faction in there. It's way too much stuff. They've already started to do some really stupid. They're dictators. So that's not good. It's really caused a disruption. Extorting Stellar Forge's capacity to interact balance in space between player factions. It's not good. It's gross, really, is what it is. Alright. Let's find out who's here. I need something somewhat signed. It's Imperial Flag. We could take them out, even though I'd give us a wanted sign, but that'd drop power on those dudes if I did that. That's what you would do if you wanted to take power away from some faction. Target every ship that has their call sign on. Every single one. Wanted or not. Consistent shield soak analysis. Bingo, I needed that one. Alright, so let's go back. Still around their crates through, so we got nothing. Type 9! Oh, clean.
good. That's fine. go. Shield booster. Fragment. Two. Argo hatch three. Multi pin two. And two. Cruise and cruise. Where are you going on the fed count ship? He's just chilling. Everything began.
fuck out, it's leaving. It knows I'm gonna hog this thing. It lose its shit. It knew. Too dangerous, right? It knew. Because it would have lost for sure. Playing sloppy. Would have lost it for sure. were already out, I opened the moment I came through to shut them back. disruption. It's fine, I'll wait. It's the longest FSD boot up that I've ever seen in my entire life. It's fine. We'll wait. The we'll wait. We already know how long it takes the FSD drive on this. We know how long it takes to power up the FSD drive mass lock. That's with boosts. Still not done. Zero reason for it. So it's not just me, it's in here. It's this game. So, I want to go take a look at this frigate here. This is the one that doesn't let stupid people show up. So let's go take a They're awfully close. Might be of use. Yep. Thanks, Mr. Play. I got it, buddy. Bye. I know they're here, I see them.
No shipyard. No outfitting, no library. They have nothing. Fuel is at 21%. They do need some tritium for sure. Nothing else, so they're useless. I have nothing that I can use. Luck on that. Have what we need. Let's go get that eight on the uh, spark two. We have zero issue there. Problem. It's just inside those freaking missions. A lot of delays. Too many overlapping codes happening in there, and that's what that is. Cruising. So go back here, we'll transfer the uh, fuel tank. We need the eight. Put that on the ass from the 16 to the 8. That'll quarter the fuel tank, which is what we need. We need that tiny little bit of mass shifting. That'll give us that little bit. I just need to shave off a couple of pounds there, more or less. That's all I need. It should be set for. And we'll go back in and we'll keep on selecting our targets and getting rid of the dumb. We'll have to be real selective. Get rid of them. Couldn't drop shields. They tried. They were definitely nerfed. We hotted up that one. It bailed. That was its biggest ship option. At least for this particular mission instance. So it can't put a bigger ship in. It doesn't have access to it. So it thought it could hop in and, and hot us up. But no bueno. I changed the shield booster on this, because the Icarus, this Icarus here, the courier, she, uh, she's got one hell of a freaking shield set up there. Udumaya power distributors are just delicious. They just keep on kicking. We'll go here, we'll dot. See who's all here. Just behind it. Face towards where the beacon is. Alright, beacon's to our left. So who's moving on this reticle? We got a couple ships that way. System security is just off center. Not much. We got that resource extraction site to the right of us. This here would be a uh, ganker pirate here. I'll let him interdict us. We're looking for him anyways. Higher rank one this time. We've thrown elite level ones after us. Next. better with those moves. Missed again. Close. That one right off the top of the wing there. Still missed.
got missiles, you've got cannons, and you've got lasers. We already know that that Viper only has four weapons. Still nuts. Still nuts. How many weapon slots are you going to get, right? That was my backup. Hammer the hell out of that part. There you go. Blast that. boys are from a different system. Guess what I was doing earlier, you little fucker. I went to the military base. But now what are you gonna do? You cheap bastard. How you like those mana cores? Mm, delicious, aren't they? Now who's nerfing the pool? Yeah, shit out some stuff. I'd be shitting too. Dead. See you later. Thanks, boys. You know what to do. Take all that shit and throw it in the garbage. I better count as one. I'm gonna check. Good. If we just fly around, we pissed them off enough. Is that right here? Fuckers. How about right here? I got more than enough cash on me, wise. Power up shields, Jefferson. Send something else my way, boys. I'm waiting. 100,000 credits. Okay. I'll wait. How's the rest of the little pirate ganking squad? Bring it in. You. You've been chosen. I see you. Come on in. Waiting. Yeah, I see you. Come on. Do it. Mm hmm. Go for it. Federal assault ship. Yeah. Competent. Be risky, even with a federal assault ship. It'll definitely nerf me hard for that one. But got two military systems that I went and went and made the highest rank I could. I hadn't been over there for a bit, so that didn't take long. I see you, you little bastard. Flying around. I told you Crimson Mafia had access to military-grade ships. So they raided that military base. So that really pissed the military off, surprisingly. So I went and had a conversation with them earlier. Did some missions and up my rank with them real quick-like. They want these guys bad, too. Lauder and the military bases. So they really screwed up. Stupid frickin' player faction. Yeah, there's Fedcon's ship. He sees them. Get out of here, you little bastard. Where's the rest of them? Pray it faint. Wanted by the Imperial Flight. Not interesting. Degraded, high emissions, convoy, identified. Coded emissions and coded emissions. Man, that dude's really climbing. He's getting the hell out of there, he says. Alright. Coast around. Some securities flying laterals. Just move past that dude. Let's see if he catches him. Nope. Hopped out of weight. Alright. Let's go back to what we were doing. 
they're trying. So there's another. He's interdicting. He's heading back. He sees him too. Weapons fire is what I'd be looking for. Let's chill for a sec. That pops weapon fire, we know that that is him. Fighting that dude. He's following him right now. Definitely chasing him. Let's see, low wake. This dude bailed. He hops in there and goes after him, then we go in. Weapons fire. We'll be down. He's not going anywhere. I'll tell you that much. I brought all kinds of nasty stuff here with me. Alright, let's go. Keep it spicy. Cheating little bastards. Alright. Going in. Let's put the, uh, eight on the, um, asp there. Anybody doing resource extraction? Interesting. Usually got a lot of travel back and forth, but it doesn't look like it. They actually take stuff from the ring and down to the planet, like literally right here. You can take it to the base, but it's actually faster to take it from the ring to the planet, because then you're, you actually get paid more. Because if you take it to the asteroid's orbital base, O'Neill here, then it just has to take and transport it over to the planet. Really, they got a lot of other options in the game here mechanically. I was making a list earlier. Some other mechanics that could make some other missions that would be pretty badass, so I made a list. I'm going to do that on a future stream, probably next week. I'm going to cover it because it's pretty good. Did some number crunching on how good it could be player base wise. It's pretty good. So that would give a lot of extra stuff to do in here using the same stuff that we have. They completely didn't look at it all. It, zero of that is being used in space. It's a good chunk. So we'll play around with that a little bit. I'll build some little story arcs in there and stuff, show you guys what that could be, because that could be pretty badass. Uh, definitely something worth checking out, for sure. Uh, if it was me and it was my space, frick, I'd put it in there. Oh, all of a sudden you're awfully friendly. Being a bastard for freaking three days over here. So, great, I guess. We're gonna put somebody coming through there, same as me, in the, in the traffic lane. Okay, one four. I'm circling around. I'm coming in on green side. So, got some giant ship coming through, that's on you. You got somebody flying center mass on a two lane highway, that's all on you. Green's one side, red's the other. Two small ships like this can fit through. There's my little landing pad. I'm flying to it. If you light up a landing pad in front of me, guess what? Not my problem. Look at how many ships we got now. All kinds of goodies here. <laughs> Brought the military in, you bastards. We got some serious frickin' allies. Need some bullets, huh? Alright, ask explorer. 
taking the explorer tank off, putting the destroyer tank on instead. Had to put the 16 because we were poking around and doing some stuff long range. So. Now we can put her back into combat mode. It's my other stuff. It's not even anywhere in the bases where we're at. It's so far away. I was like, holy frick, we were way the hell out there. I couldn't remember how far, but it was a ways. I was like, man, we were way out there. Give me this. Use it. Now, let's put that tiny tank on here. Still keeping the fuel scoop on, though, just in case some dumb shit happens. Make it, make it work. Alright, here's your weight reduction there, Betsy. Eight tons. Alright, so what we need... What I gotta do, I gotta do this different. Uh, stored modules. Fuel tank. Generator. Where the hell's a fuel tank? Must be looking past it. There it is, a fuel tank. Eight. Transfer it here. Yep. Five minutes. Sounds good. I'm leaving the other eight where it is, because we need it in both locations, so that when I fly to either blotter system or over here, I can just grab the fuel tank. And what I'll end up doing is I'll grab more of these eights, and I'll just distribute them out across the galaxy, because I'm going to need them. I'm also ahead of schedule. Once we get this all going here, I need to get a couple of modules and put them into storage, because we go deep space when I need to replace it, because I can only fix the jump drive so much, then it just doesn't jump as far. So what we're going to do is, once we get way the hell out there, they don't sell any modules. Once you leave the bubble, that's it. There's no modules. So if you don't pack up before you go with some modules somewhere that they can ship out, you're screwed. It's going to cost to get it shipped, so I'll have to do a little shopping. Make sure that I find the right module, but I need to make sure I get it at a good price. Cover the shipping costs, more or less. So once we get it, we'll spread them out across the galaxy at some different starports, because it's stupid. I'll put them in the nebs. I'll put one probably in Omega Neb. I'll stick some stuff, put some parts there, a little part dump more or less. And then I'll probably put one at Brewer's base on the planet. It's farther out, it's in the other Neb. Crooked Neb area. Uh, we'll park it over there, and then that way we've got within 500 light years or whatever of each other. When we're way the hell out there, we can get some parts. Do the same thing with the guns. I'll put... <sighs> We get done with this, I'm going to go find those two military bases and find out what they've got in stock first. Get an Ask Mark II. They got Ask Explorers there, but we know the military base is Ask Mark II. It's decommissioned naval. There'll be Gal Cop as the distributor for those construction. I don't want those other ones. It's different ships. So we'll get that, put those into storage, and then I'll ship those out there also. So at the location where I got the part hubs, like Omega Neb and then Crooked Neb area. What I'll do is I'll stock the ASP there, Mark II, and I'll put all the parts to build the ship there with the ship in storage. So there'll be a ship with every part I need to rebuild completely new military spec ship should something happen. Because if we crash and burn out there for some reason doing some stuff because we know there's some risky locations, then I'll have a whole ship, literally. No problem. So that will be on the list. We got all of our other stuff we bought. Could get another pulse wave analyzer and put that into storage as well. They do have that here. Other than that, they really don't have much here. Vehicle hangers. We got all that stuff in storage elsewhere. I've been keeping an eye on what parts are available and getting the parts very specifically. The smallest number of parts, but the widest range for them. I want to have access to every part. Some combination. I can always move the parts around. I got no issue with that. Costs a little bit. That's fine. At least you've got the parts. And wherever you're at, they don't have it. So if you move it from a location that had the parts to a location that doesn't, then you got access in two locations, if you think about it. Because you could always buy them at the one you got it from again. And now you also have it at a location that doesn't care. So you got a good saturation. Take an area where you're working in and put those parts all over the place. You can always transfer them out and move them to a new location, then redistribute them slowly out to the different bases you go to when you find they don't have something. It's kind of what I do. I, I move, distribute the parts. Move, 
bring the parts, then redistribute the parts. Very much so. That is how expansion and colonization should have worked when they left the bubble. They didn't do jack. It's a giant pain in the ass. So, for right now, a few minutes. I could go out there and take out those dudes by the time we got back, the tank would be here. So we can do it with, with this tank. It's just a little heavier. I'll give it a second, and I'll go back in and check it. Let's see how we're doing. If they have a 32, I could get full-on tank. Five minutes. Five minutes. And they also have fuel cells. So if your tank's small, you could put a really tiny tank, but then put fuel cells on, and that compensates it too. But you're taking up slots to do that. It's just easier to put the tank. I'm taking a really tiny ship and giving it all kinds of extra fuel in there by filling the internals full of fuel. Fuel cells. Tons of fuel cells. So if you're only able to put a grade 8 on there... But you have five slots inside, you might be able to put another eight tons of fuel on your ship. And you're like, wow, cool, I got 16 now, so I don't have to worry so much when I'm out there flying around, right? You could do that. Easy. No problem. You'd be all set. So, we're looking good. Five minutes. We'll wait. We'll wait. Let it get here, and we'll really hit that thing extra spicy. Give them a second. They're flying all around, and there's military ships here that they pissed off, so that'll keep them busy for a second. We'll try and disperse them around a little bit. It'd be great. If they want to do the interdiction thing, perfect. That's I'd much rather them do that. In that instance, there's less nerfing than there is inside one that's got ten ships inside there. But again, they were still doing it, even in the other space. Nav beacons, things like that. Takes them a bit. It's a little slower. There's a lot of shifting parts around and stuff. Alright. Let's check it now. Got our bounty. So let's do this. Let's go in here. Let's cash that out. Cash it out. Ugh. How about cartographics? Did I have any? I don't think so. No. It's worth enough. It's enticing for the little griefers there. 50,000 at least. They like that. Um. Check this too. Kachaka, Kachaka, Curry Pirate Principles. These are the dudes I'd rather have here. Curry Patron Principles. These guys. I'd rather have them in the space than this player faction here. Because they're exploiting the space. These guys are not. These are tied to Stellar Fork. Crimson Mafia has 43 missions. Duncan, I think that was the dude's name. Duncan, I think. He was the other guy in the other system that was Crimson Mafia. He's flying around in there in a Crimson Mafia dude interdicted. So they're doing some courier and they need a lot of stuff. Get their little organization off the ground here. Access terminal, so a hack lock system, and this one is reputation requirements for all these. What'll happen is none of these will be lit. Because they're awfully mad. That's good. So our dude here Governor Landon Knox. Nah. Yeah. Exploited system. You got that right. It is exploited. By the Imperial flag. Doing some toxic stuff. Their activity is not good. I've seen some player factions pull some BS. But this one's off the chain on their BS. Went all kinds of dumb. All kinds of the dumb. Ragnarok. Toxic ship. 
Lomat. Also toxic. So I wouldn't dock at either one of those two ships. Lex, we already know, doesn't have anything, even though it sucks. These guys here at Perbac Holdings. Normal services. Kachaka Order. Okay. Refinery. Neutral. They have landing pads and they have trade open. Two ships. There's a lot of security here. Oh. Got a Python, a Type 7, and an Imperial Eagle. Competent, deadly, dangerous, expert, dangerous, competent. Powerful. So, sixteen, twenty hours. Let's go spice them up. Staggered the shield, pulled the A, put the B, free up a little bit more power in there. We took the 16, which was already half scale fuel tank, and we put it to a quarter. It's getting an 8 now. So that's. We're back into as fast as she possibly can go. Can't really get any more speed out of her. Squeezed every bit. Can only go as fast as it can go. Without putting a bigger engine in there, that's all she's got. But we'll be improving some of that later on. Got some workarounds in there to get some upgrades and combination. I think we can do some decent stuff. Try and get the uh, pre-generated modules, more or less, buy those off the shelf. Put those into storage too, that way we've got those as well. Whatever ones that they have, whenever we get to a location that has, it'll just be the way to go. So we'll go back over here in this one. Have to see what we got. Yeah, 
had a delay earlier. I was going to hop on this afternoon, but the fan module quit on the furnace. Of course, it's the next weakest link that was on there. Replaced the blower motor, but the fan module didn't crap. So, got to go get one of those tomorrow and get that put on. So we got it in full operation mode right now. It's just running, connected, bypassing that. So, it's on the summer fan module more or less than the winter fan module. Summer one runs all the time, and the winter one runs tied directly to the thermos. Thermostats uh, got a little control module in there, so it's got that. So, bypass that one by hooking it to the other one where the thermostat still runs and controls the furnace, but the fan's running all the time no matter what, till tomorrow. It's brand new, so break it in. It doesn't spin as fast, because the summer one's not as powerful as the winter one, obviously. It just does a casual air circulation, more or less. But it's enough to keep the temperature in here perfect. It's enough for it to run its cycle normally, and then kick off, but the fan's still running the whole time. That fan just circulates what's here, so it's probably the most perfect temperature in here that it's ever been. Running its consistent heat now, at least. Yeah, it was still doing some weird short cycling, and I think that's tied to the module was going bad. Controlling the fan, turning the fan on, turning the fan off, mid-cycle, and then kind of glitching out, turning the fan back on, kind of doing that. I think that's what the issue was. That's what it seems like. So, hopefully by tomorrow, then, we'll have the furnace put back together, and the only alternative after we do that, because there is nothing else, is to replace it completely. There's no more parts after that. Unless, for some odd reason, somebody's got some stuff in a warehouse or something, then great. Because it has zero issue with it. It's all perfect. Everything else. It's just the regular parts. They just wear out. It's the original ones in here, so I mean, frick, they're way past their time to change, should there be an issue. But, no issue, they're still running, so. So we'll see. See what happens. It's, like I said, it's... Perfect in here. It's got weapons up, but I'm not going to worry about it. It says system security response unavailable. Damn the system security. Alright, buddy. Chosen. It's you. Cannon system secure. So you got eight tons of extra weight. Stops the ship from taking so long to swim. It's just eight tons. It's Turns almost as good as quartering the fuel tank. Literally shooting that guy, but bullets are right now. Been registered any one shot. Literally right now. Missed all that. Then it caught up. The light now, but get rid of these other dudes in there. There's no way it's gonna be able to. The shields have so much extra power now without the A. I don't think they're gonna be able to do much with that. Feel this dude's shield layer is off. Then you can recharge them up. With that extra, that's it. I won't be able to cut my down fence. The AI is going to get awfully undecided here shortly. Question mark about that code. Let's see. There's no idea how I'm making my ship do this. It doesn't know how to do this with the fuel tanks. No idea. It only runs for them. That's and grades them up or down. It knows nothing else. Zero capability outside of what modules would have. Combat. Might not have to leave the instance. Might be able to just pick another target. So just outside of range. Jefferson's still hot and on. See how much lighter I am? Cobra can almost sweep it. 
the heavy and not that heavy. The ship's that light. Like I said, it weighs about as much right now from the way that I've on here it weighs about as much as tanky ether. Doodler. I was already ready for that crap. Phase alloys, quad crystals. Okay. A lot of ganker ships. Pretty. Mm, that'd be a push. I need more bullets for that stuff. Alright, we'll come back. Scoop up your buddy's body parts. I'll be back in a minute the rest of you little pricks. See, I'm not touching the other ship. Oh, we're out of here. While I was connected to that ship and then leaving, it let me go. It's that that much. Just any engagement in space at all. That nerfing. So I've got a bonus set in there on something. I've got a plus. Must be my rounds. They loaded me up with some military spec stuff or something. I was getting a bonus there. My shields. Go ahead, Jefferson. Power those babies up. Shouldn't have no trouble now. It's a lot easier to power that up than it is in a class. It's not as tanky, but it's more than enough. I can't take a full-on hit when it's low, low, but... I'm just going to fly for a sec. Kill engines. Let's take a good look. Right here. What activity do we get? Quite much. Alright, let's go back. Get some bullets. We know we can't get it at any of these places, which sucks. That'd be nice if we could. So, per back holding. I wonder if they got rounds. Right here. Let's go take a look at this place. Different scenery. You keep working on shields there, Jefferson. Here, I'll give you all of them. Okay. Let me know when they're at maximum. Go take a look at this per back holdings here. Let's see who these dudes are. See who these do, but I don't have any notes on these guys. See, they're new. We already cleared out two other factions in here. I did that earlier. The other two entities that were in this space, they're not here. So these dudes are after. Whoever these dudes are here aren't the same dudes that were here. The other two were lowest on the totem pole. So I cut the totem pole down with a chainsaw, multi cannons. So there wasn't any of them left. Whatever missions were tied to them in these ship they had, I just destroyed them. I went and took and cleared up the bounties afterwards. Went off-grid, more or less. Then. Just get them out of here. Find somebody new. So these dudes are different. Find out what they can do. 
There's some trade travel moving back. Not awfully slow. 18, 17, 16. It's kind of I got a gravity pull here. It's a little bit. I'm under the blue, so. We're chilling. Gravity's slowly grabbing us. One signal source. So we get done with all this stuff, we're going to go do that degraded emissions uh, blotter system. I need to get uh, cargo racks, a couple of them. I think that's it. I think that's all I need for that, just the cargo racks. So I got everything else already loaded on the ship. And then we'll go grab up everything we can get. There's so much stuff there. Blotter system had one heck of a mess. I'm hoping we can at least get something decent happening. Turn all that in to search and rescue. Just, I don't know. 20, 30 signals there that was all degraded emissions. One, two, three, four little planets. Per back holdings. This is where we're going to have to go and get our synthesis too before we depart. Once we get these guys out of here, we should be able to get in there and get some. Resource extraction, we'll get the Viper, right? Mark IV. We're going to pull some of the stuff off, put the other stuff on, and we'll go in there with the Viper because we get in there quick. We'll mine a bit, fill our synthesis back to maximum amount. I'll find out what that is um, probably tomorrow in the morning. So uh, we're going to be streaming for a while. We're going to be on here. Uh, so tomorrow in the morning, I log off here. I'll go on there and poke around, we'll find out who these dudes are get some data on them, check the missions. I'll make some notes here real quick. Tomorrow morning I'll find out maximum amounts for the synthesis, how much can we hold. I'll check all that off stream. And then uh, should be done, I'm hoping. If not, we'll have to hop back in and keep hotting these dudes up. I think we can get in there and just clean them up now. have to be creative when we get in here because this asteroid is packed it is packed it's got everything good i mean we'll fill the synthesis everything we need is in this this asteroid right right here bring the probes and come over might maybe see if i can find some other stuff i'll see what they got this would be the place that would have some of the other things we don't have so I might buy them and put them in storage here while we're here. Um, we need the uh, detonating so we can do the asteroid cracks. See if they got a bigger cargo rack, something sizable. Just need one decent one. Doesn't have to be too crazy. Maybe they got ships here. I don't know. That might be a thing too. Our mission threat is like literally right here also. Bastards are sitting right here. Causing problems over here, boys. One incoming. Cool. Coasting it slow. See, because you're supposed to take and put this blue bar, right? You put the arrow into the blue. Ride the blue all the way down. There's a bunch of systems over here. No good. Even keeping this in the blue doesn't work. So this side over here is supposed to match this side over here, and these two are different. Mechanically, they're in two different measures. This one, collectively, is supposed to be the one on this side for the bars. They're not tied together. Right now. Frontier's in there doing something. With them. Didn't want to discuss it. In the process of doing something. No problem. I know it's an issue, so I don't use it. I use the ones on this side, because these are always more accurate. Listen to the engines and look out the window. Get that bar. 
until they fix it. All right, boys, I'm here. We need you to dock for something. Can't get in, huh? Too full. Figured. That's all right. I'll wait. I know who's all here. Do this. Fly out a little bit. Come on. Fly out a little bit. It's awfully nerfy here. What's going on here? Pirates inside your facility you can't discuss. I'll back up right to it. There goes the tight. Up top. Is this me? One for me. Oh, it's awfully nice. Landing gear deployed. She's got some gravity on her. Pull me down there. She's got some. She's got some grip. Trying to yank me down. Frick. Center of the starbase. Less of an effect over here. Hello. Oh, looky there. I can what's and everything. What you guys boys got here? Give the boys hook me up. It's nice, I like it. Rustic? Oh, you bet. Back me up. Slide the door closed. Let them know I'm in here. And press them. Already. Show me. Show me what you got. Perfect. Captain Ashley Revere. Okay. Kachaka Order. Hmm. Interesting. Who's in charge here? What do we got? So they're in charge, but those boys are trying to move in. Of course they are. So what missions do you have here? Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Of course. Here's a terrorist right here. An Ola system. Very small amount, basically a nobody. Influence goes up quite considerably. Ooh, look at this. Cracked industrial firmware unit. What's that? Oh, that screws the influence, though. Dang. So I can't get that because the influence wouldn't be that good. Could go there and take out this little prick. 9%. We get three bars. That would put our reputation to friendly immediately. Wouldn't take too long to go blow this dude up. Could do that. Hmm. Terrorist. I hate terrorists. Give me that mission. I'll help you out, lady. Hola, system, huh? All right. I'll make you a deal. I'll go blow this dude up for 10 grand. Come back. Use the 10 grand to put my bullets in. So it's like I killed the dude for free. You're out no money. I'm out no bullets. And then I get to come back here. 
all cordial and friendly and nice. Try and take out all these pirate bastards. Get more around so I don't have to fly all the way back to the main base. How about that? Does that sound good? Sound like a deal, maybe? Sounds like a deal to me. 23 hours to kill this dude. Kill this dude in about 10 minutes. We got a sidetrack here, Jefferson. Power up the modules, we're out of here. Back. We'll hot up the pirates here some more. We'll take out this terrorists. So we can quit terrorizing individuals. For free. Basically. We got fuel costs and we got repair costs, should there be. We got ammunition costs. Their reputation goes up. Our reputation with them goes up. So that'll be something. Need nothing here. We're still running. Oh, yeah. We get good gas mileage on this thing. Olaf, my favorite system. Lots of buddies over here. Little Olaf uh, from Disney there. Little snowman. Little notes. On my way, Olaf. Uh, get rid of this terrorizer over here. Who is this dude? JP. Uh, JP? You're gonna be RIP. New initials. We'll find him. What is this? Hmm. Interesting. Where are you, you little bastard? Terrorizer. It's here somewhere. Nav beacon's right there. We have a lot of activity. Degraded. High grade. Coded. Graded. Graded. This is a cash cow here too, for signal sources. You can get so much stuff. But on this one you'll get distress calls too. So you gotta carry some different stuff. Jones Locker, resource, degraded, high grade, coded, system security, custodian, nope, nope, 
Oh, security. Security. Head to Maras Camp and interface with the hub access terminal. We should be able to use it to determine the target's location. Connect to hub access terminal. Maras Camp. Not hacking it. Play that much. No planet hacks happening. So, while you guys figure that out, because I ain't doing that. Then I'm wanted. So no thanks. Get your target information right there, lady. I won't be hacking it. He'll come out. He will. Back to pirate hunting. He'll show up. Maybe he'll show up in the instance where we are. Either down on the planet or somehow the planet has the info that I need to get. We already know that that has zero to do with that dude. That's just a trap to get you tagged so that you lose whatever it is. So, right. Scan again. In route. Nine of twenty five is about to be ten of twenty five.
lot of work for this many dudes. It's only like two degrees Fahrenheit outside there today. Last night too. It's awfully cold. About two o'clock in the morning, right after we finished stream there with a freaking uh, well, the first piece we were gonna jump off, but I stayed on. It's when the uh, fan module of the furnace kind of took. too good. Thought we were gonna be good with that. That would be done. No more stuff, at least to get to summertime or something, but. I to try to figure out what was going on with it. I had to leave, go to town. I thought we were actually just chill for all of today, but we were not. Some other stuff that popped up. So I said, crap. So that sucks. So I would have been on a couple times actually earlier, but couldn't really do it. I had to switch the schedule around a bit, but it's fine. Tomorrow we can. I was only going to do one stream tomorrow, but one stream today. Do more streams tomorrow instead. No problem. Yeah, I just got to i got to go through my paperwork on this side, and i got to go through the paperwork on this side. So i got both of these two stacks of paperwork done. That's 47 totes of paperwork that I went through already. And then I'm down to what will be a single tote. So I'll have 46 totes open. <laughs> Nothing in. Oh, I objected. All right, who's my target? This time. Master, of course. Pick someone else if I wanted to. lasers and he's got two flat cannons. He switches up to something else.
plant forward, not backwards, so quit doing that shit. It wasn't really the first. From IG turn to forward, not backwards. The whole point that I press reverse. Never press reverse. Unless I'm talking to myself. already know that those things run extra hot. Running thermal weapons is awfully risky, especially the Mark III. He's having a hell of a time pulling that up, trying to get his shields up. He doesn't have enough power. I mean, there I go. fast my ship was flying before. Awfully nerfy. So Jefferson's got the stick now. Called oh, linebacker, buddy. Well, take the ball. No more nursey doodle there for you, buddy. Alright. 
All right, lady. It says this one's close. Why doesn't it do these by distance? Light seconds and 4.1 light seconds. Isn't that closer? I don't know. Alright, big boy, I guess. Let's go. Address. Only two other signals. Alright. Let's go back and get some more bullets, because we're going to need those. We need them. Go ahead, Jefferson. Shield it up, baby. So I took out an elite one and took out a dangerous level one. In the fastest ship in the galaxy. It's still nerfing me bad, though. Our ship is quicker than that. We can flip it around. First half, we had it. We only have so much time, and then it, it starts at... It's 25, 50, 75. It sucks. That's nothing. You're like flying in. No maneuverability is what it feels like. Literally grab the ship several times, like you grab the nose of the ship and pull it down. Like, no, you can't pull up. I hate that so much. It's like my ship doesn't fly like that. Get serious. But that's all right. That's when I let Jefferson do it, and I just casually coast. Stop doing combat, right? And the AI goes, wait, what happened? I was working with it. No, you weren't. We're nerfing. It figures out it's running three different lines of code simultaneously, and it says, oh, those are interfering with each other. Yes, it is. Stop doing that. Pick one. Whichever one. I'll wait. It selects which one it wants. You'll see it writes itself, and then it starts going again. So then you get some of the controls back. Then it takes a bit. 75 goes to 50. Then back to 25, and there we go. We're back in combat doing our thing. It's got a rank, I'll give it 25 at the most, so it can simulate its effectiveness. But at 50 and 75%? No, kiss my ass. Not happening. That's stupid. It's the only game that does that BS. Alright, on past the ring. Wing was brazen through the asteroid field at full speed. For a gravity stop at perfectly 30 km. Like I said, I know how to fly my damn ship. Too many hours in this thing. I literally flew so fast that I worked a circle around the center of this planet like this through the asteroid ring. Grazed my wing across it. Used gravity loop cyst off this planet. Came full circle around and then docked inside the base. Flying over 100. Easy. Right inside. So... When it's nerfing, it's nerfing. I can see it. I can feel it in the controls. It'd be like if I was driving my car and all of a sudden I lost half engine power. It's noticeable. If I went from drive to neutral, right, or downshift, no. I spent a lot of time in my car. I spent more time in my car driving in my lifetime than I've ever spent in a bed. Barely sleep. Little O'Neill settlement. Awfully close rotation here on this one. She's extra tight this time around. Instead of the other time, she was way out. She must have an odd orbital ring. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what's down on this planet here. Go down there and check one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. On approach. Lake on Juliet, November, India. The Imperial Flight Operations Bureau is honored by your presence, Commander. Huh. Honored? Amazing. All of a sudden. Dock me. Your docking request has been approved. Add Please seven. To bay zero seven. Sounds good. Don't mind if I do.
That is some serious bogging going on there, boys. Come on, let's see it. Now that's unbogged. It was the slowest slow motion entry I've ever seen in my entire life. We were clipping it pretty good. Boy, she was moving extra slow. All right, coming down. Two of their shipments in. Interesting. Hmm. Pretty badass Starbase. I like it. Taking a picture of my ship, guy. Because I can. Put it in the old pilot's logs. Maybe I'll use it for a thumbnail. Alright. Give me some bullets. Bump out those little dings and scratches there, real quick. And come on down to the old hangar bay here for a momento. Let's see what's up. that out. Okay. Cash it up. Making a bunch of extra, that's for sure. All right. Back out we go. It's dude. Or dudette. Or duder. Whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever's next. You have been disengaged from the dock. Depart when ready. Oh, I'm departing. Departing. These are the voyages. Starship Picker. We're gone. Right? Something like that? Isn't that how it goes? Got the grouchiness out of this dude. A couple of shoulder shrugs right in the envelope there. Waking up a couple of little rooks on their way in. Get out of my way. I was already exiting before you were entering. Go ahead and exit. Everything's cool. Yeah, it's there's dudes right there in the freaking envelope. Let's go say hi to these guys. Up. Right there. 
perfect. Let's see who's over here this time. How we doing on our numbers? Let's check. 11 of 25. Ooh, make it profit. Make it work. Instead, we need a wing. A wing. Straight up. Just careful. Caution. I don't have a wing. I've got two wings on my ship. That's about it. It would be pretty badass to have a huge ass freaking player faction. That'd be great. Build a starbase in one of those cool ass systems that I marked. I know just the one that I'd put it in. It's way the hell out of freaking nowhere though, that's for sure. That's alright. Put a badass freaking observatory on the planet, put a starbase outside it, and start expanding from there. Pop me into Stellar Forge. I'll colonize the freaking galaxy. Get a group of commanders together. Then we'll be heading ourselves over there to start our location and doing a little cleanup crew. Get rid of all the ganker bastards setting out there. At least wake them up. Get them on the right track. So we can get the rest of the damn game expanded. Get all the new players loaded up. Take them to go see some really badass stuff. That's how they should be coming into the space. <sighs> Whole lot of dumb. Sucks. Yeah, I was figuring some salvage ops stuff. That was what I was looking at earlier, those different alternative missions. Salvage ops would be at some transport, which they don't really have. They have some stuff, but it's not as good as it could be. I'm talking about more regular, a little less mission-like, a little more regular, like, service trip. Like, they would lock onto a contract, and it would be a longer span of time. They do some missions that are longer, but they do smaller cargo runs to different locations, and every time they redocked back at the base, they would get different stuff to take. Same mission, though. It's all within the same parameters. We need you to take this to there. They come back. They need you to take this to this other location. They come back. Be working on it. Could be a while. Something a little more lengthy. Full-on trade and transport. Not just delivery service, which is more like what it is. You take one shipment of something to somewhere else, and then that's it. Contract concluded. It's not really that great. You don't really have a lot of extra stuff attached to it either. What would be cool is also taking and transporting it to another ship somewhere else. Then that ship picks up the cargo and takes that stuff somewhere else. Whatever the shipment is. Could be anything. Be awesome. Could do some uh, secretive stuff in there too, also. That would be kind of cool. Ship that just flew by is fire. You can hear the engine. It's hitting the brakes. But come back if he's interested. Looks like he wake hopped out. Still got some flying by. Back and forth. There's two of them right there. We're chilling. Flying slow for a reason. Love it when they interdict me out here, out of this mission zone. That changes it up quite substantially. It's this mission zone. It's like a freaking uh, compromised nav beacon problem. Wake up, boys and girls. Short window for stellar force. Already take one of these out of Quick. No. Not you, Jefferson. You're on the flat cam, buddy. 
pretty good, but she powered shields up immediately. Really done. Took she had a battery. Really trying to mess. Now the nerf. Literally dragging around an extra thousand pounds. Still mess. And have the wing out of the way. Go ahead, shoot it. Right off the glass, you bastard. Not right there is military grade ballistics, my friend. Small window, Jefferson. You've got a booster on that. Of course, you'll be out of range for the whole time. Good for you. Already know the ship turns fast. That 86. Just sunk it. Now what? Now what, Nerfsy Doodle? You got your shields on, you feel better? There's two good blasts right on the game. Still didn't drop mine. Yes. You got two choices. You can start dropping your friends so you can fly, or you're gonna have to change up your flight. Anytime you want to shoot those Jefferson, I mean, that's what they're there for. You're missing the boat here, buddy. Turn the gun so they don't shoot. Literally, they have a window. Very small, but not fully void. Yeah, I know, they know. Oh, they are. Could have been dead. So if you don't shoot the damn frag cannon, then I'm gonna need the shields down so that I can feel the hole away. Getting it to 90%. percent like to keep it above. I'd like to beat my lover. You don't mind.
Fuck the canyon. Thank you, Kyle. It's an idea that you can do. Nerf in your grave there, worm keeper. Have all day for this crowd. Shields are on you, Jefferson. You gotta shoot those flat cans faster, my guy. Can't wait all day for those. Got an idea about that. Shut two of them down, that way I don't run out. I'll wait until partially through combat and then I'll power them back up. It'll just be easier to do that. Really, I could just ditch them completely and not be sucking down the extra power and it'll just give us even more weight. So he's not shooting them fast enough. What I'll probably do is take them both off and I'll put one on because uh, he's not, he won't do it right. He's being nerfed. So if I suck the power grid down, I could. Um, Put a missile rack on there carefully. I'd have to do it carefully. Put a missile rack on, single missile rack. And I have to make sure that I'm right on. So what they'll start doing, because they're already using missiles anyways, but I'm shooting them out of the sky or dodging them, which really pisses them off. I can roll the missile off my wings and flick the missile off. That's what I was doing, I was rolling it off the wings. It was going across the shields flicking the missile off the way. That's why on the reticle it blows up off the back. back. That's what it was doing. Because the ship's angled. It's got the right sort of geometrical pattern on the outside. I flew a lot of hours in here. I could bounce them right off the glass. I ricocheted missiles right off the top. But when it's nerfing, it's hard. So if it hits it dead on, freaking gunships and stuff, they shoot a bunch. They got a lot. But that ship right there, running what it was doing, was well over 100% thermals on it right at that point. Was not dropping anything to drop down any heat, and it was all thermal weapons. That sucker was cooking. I know because I've run it on there. I could go to back to the starport, but buy a ship and equip it exactly the same as that instance right there and fly it, guarantee we cook it. It would cook the ship. It can't do that like that, not for that duration. Even running lower in the pips for it, you still cook it too much. We did module reinforcement to try to shield it on the inside. You still can't, you can't reduce it down enough. It's being cooked. You'd have to run heat sinks on it, which clearly wasn't. No heat sink being discharged or anything like that. It's running missiles also, which also cooked the ship because you're flying with the missile. So when the missile goes off, all the heat from the missile is on the ship. So it's not only being cooked internally, it's being cooked externally. That's why it's risky with those to try to run. It's almost... If you tried to do it and kept it the same, uh, flying around with it, you'd have to run really slow. You'd have to nerf yourself. And you'd have to be rolling away every time you shoot. I've run it on there. There's only one workaround, and that was not the flight maneuver they were using. You have to run slow and roll away whenever you shoot so that when the missile's doing its thing, it's not on you because you'll literally be moving right with it. Your, your ship is too fast. I can't. That's why I can't do them on the courier. It'll cook the ship. They're literally on you the whole time. You're flying with them. They only move 600, and their initial boost and launch off is too close to you. It takes them almost five seconds for them to get enough thrust to move away at the trajectory. It super sucks. So you have to be really good. Bottom, for sure. Can't run it on the top. Bottom, for sure, and you have to pull away, which they weren't doing. No way. And then running thermals on there? No. Can't run thermals on that ship and make it last. It's too hot. Not without having some chafe. You're going to have to heat sink the hell out of it 
when targets are shooting at you, you gotta pop chape off. You, you gotta do something to shield yourself. Because you're already too hot. Somebody else running, th if I was running thermals when they was doing that, running thermals, he's shooting thermals and I shoot thermals at him. It melts him. He's already in the red. It might just pop. It might just say critical threshold pop. Doesn't matter if he's at 100% shields and 100% halt. He just pop. He's overheated. Cooked himself inside the shield barrier, more or less, is what happens. Pop him like a grape inside. Shield generator's cooking. Ship's in the center because it's so hot inside there. Boom, he explodes inside the shield. Like, watch the shield layer go out and vacuum inside on a ship because it's just so much. I was like, wow, that dude was dumb and didn't know how to build a ship. Risky. Awfully risky. But that's all right. Gave up on the nerfing thing and had to switch it up to some other stuff. Really trying. That's okay. Linebacker does ass. Get sick and tired of chasing him back and forth with that. Yeah, I can't, can't get in. Pressing all the buttons. Won't let me go down because I'm still locked in the nerf. I'm stuck. Still nerfed, so the menus are locked. That's why I don't bother with messing with pips because it won't let me. Let's try again. Still can't. Won't let me. So I'll fly over here, and I'll have to probably pop out. It won't let me get into the menu. The optimization of freaking Odyssey here with 50 lines of code running. How about now? No. I got shit to do. I got a time load on this mission, so... Three, two... Three. Oh, and I want to go backwards. Awfully fast in reverse, but slow as shit going forward. Makes no sense. Are you cool? Are you done? Still can't. That's all my options. I have no menu access. It's locked me inside the nerf, basically. Well, back in we go. It's the only workaround. You, ha you can't even imagine how many times I had to log out and log back in today. That's why I'm spicy. Because it's stupid and annoying. Not only is it stupid and annoying their stuff they're doing, it's stupid and annoying that Frontier doesn't do anything. See, I got my menu back. Right? I'm not out of range now. So how about now? Got all my menu back. I pressed it. Still nothing. Back in the menu again. Right? Here's my space. Let me in. Permission granted. We have prepared for your arrival on pad 3-8. Press, 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 press. 50,000 times. Do this in my freaking sleep. Come on. Watch the inside of the envelope. See ya. Your approach is good, Commander. Do not adjust course. Oh, I'm not going to. See, you got a pad right in front of me, though. You're gonna get me for loitering for that one, since how you put me behind it. Should go first come, first serve. So I should have 37, and whoever's behind me should have 38. That's how it should go. That's what they should have done. See what it did there? It just released me from the nerf. Did you see that? Just released me from the nerf. Look at how much faster my ship is moving. It's in the opposite direction of how much it was slowing me now. I'm barely tapping it. I mean barely tapping it. I'm on the deck. Made it. Oh boy! 
All right. There's the menus. Give them to me. I'm waiting on you, game. Could be doing this faster than you. That's awfully slow. You have a lot of years on a PC, but let's get this thing done here. Of ships in here. Then a bunch of security force guys. Alright, take that scratch out from that missile I ricocheted off my wings. And what else do I need from here? Nothing! Not need a thing. While you're doing this little swing around here, I will check. See what our numbers are. What? Perfect. Can't wait. You have been disengaged from the dock. Depart when ready. Well, I'm ready. You're waiting too, Billy? What are you waiting for? Please arise on my hand assigned to your missile only. Round up. Okay. I'll pull up behind you. What are you going to do, running right into him? Jeez, awfully spicy. You going there next there, backer? Get going. Lining up traffic here. Oh, Billy there on the comms is packing us in here tighter than cricket sardines. Let's go. Lots to do. Lots to do. You guys do your thing, I'm going this way. Ah, <sighs> 12 of 25. Windling them down. Let's go get the rest of them. JP's got lots of time for mass release me. Let's go get them. Next on the list. All right, signal source me. Okay, as I logged out, I gotta do it again. It's okay, chill. We had it locked in perfect, but I gotta do all this freaking crap again. Delays, that's what shitty ass freaking frontier stuff. They need to get their ass in here and optimize the rest of this stuff. Take the excess, because that's what's causing that problem, out of those instances. Because then I gotta redo all this again. I just did all this. I gotta do it again. Alright, convoy dispersal. Follow them back. Weapons fire. Created the missions. Almost have enough signals here that Blotter has. They're all over the place here. They're not just isolated in that one section where they got hot combat going on there for quite some time at Blotter. Blotter's a little easier. This one here, you gotta fly all over the damn place. There's a lot of stuff. Threat level 4, it says. What it really should say is threat level 9, because that's how many is there. 9. Most of them are up there in rank. So. Back to Costa. Let's get it in the blue. And per cruise it. Back there. I can just imagine how sucky this mission would be if I actually did it in a wing. 
it would be so bad because more ships would be activated and I'd have to rely on the other three wingmen more or less in that situation to not shoot more than their target specifically. So we'd be getting rubber banded in four different directions. That would be absolute hell because of how much you can't fly your ship. That would really suck. <sighs> it's easy to fix, too. Frontier would go inside here and take those extra lines of code out so they wouldn't be competing with each other. The AI could actually fly some pretty badass stuff. It's, it's got stuff telling it to go and stop simultaneously, and it doesn't know which one to do. So then it tries to switch. It's in the instance. Codes that's in there just literally plow over top of the other codes and goes, No, me first. No, me first. No, me first. And, and it's... You've seen it. It happens to it. bogs it down so bad. It's too bad, really. I want these missions to work. They're always tricky. That's why I just hop the nav beacon up or go to a resource extraction site because instances aren't the same as missions. Instances and missions are separate mechanically. They're not the same. They're in a different section of Stellar Forge's operations. Instances are instances and missions are missions. Yes, they are an instance. Hence the overlap. Phase one. They're also tied to, specifically, the power system, which is the third overlap to it, which causes another major problem. Because everything that happens there has to also be updated within the game space. If I take out a target at the nav beacon, that doesn't have to be updated in the game space, initially. It only has to go in there because it waits until I turn it in. If I do something with the mission, it's updated immediately in the game space. It's tied to the power. If I take out that target, it's updated immediately. The other stuff with the bounties and that, reloading the weapons and everything else, is a separate part of that. It's all broken down with the logistics and it's all over the place. There's too many layers in there and that's why it does this. This is why this problem's happening. You have to go in there and undo that. Missions are not an isolated mechanic. It should be just like the instances. They have grades to them of difficulty, and they need to go back and remap that logistically from the bottom to the top and plug them in there specific so that Stellar Forge has forward thought process instead of the zigzag back and forth that it's trying to operate inside these. It would smooth it out almost immediately. A little bit of fine tuning in there once you get back into it. You gotta shuffle some stuff around because Stellar Forge makes decisions in a sequence. They have to be done in the sequence and look at them and widen out some of them and narrow some of the other ones down so that you can smooth the ramp out. There'll be spikes. And you gotta readjust them. Which ones are the best ones that fit this type of this instance? That would be the better way to fix it. Faster way. You could do that in a single work shift. The person could sit down and say, okay, this. Target specific. Let's fix these. And by the end of the day, you're done. Fix. Update, punch out. Simple. Really wish they would get their head out of their ass with some of this stuff. They have a badass game space with tons of options and tons of cool stuff, and they leave it like this. Let's go build a story over here. What? This? In the background? No. Fix this first, then build that. Otherwise, this moves into that space. And if there's ones there, more. Now they're stacking up. So it's already doing it here. There's already three complications. You have another instance, and that adds another three complications. Now you have six. That expands into space current and future, because the instances, right? The missions. It's got two different layers. Then you've got the power system. There's another layer. So you've got nine different logistics now crossing paths. Now what? You get Scarlet Crea pop up on your screen repeatedly. Too much stuff. No good. My favorite thing on here is when they don't have an ongoing story, 
when you're farther away from system security assistance. It's just you and whatever the instance is, the target per se, that you run into, whoever it happens to be. If it's an NPC character, Stellar Forge is operating by itself. If there's anything else in the area that you have to worry about, because those things aren't tied to that space. That's the first thing it checks. What else is tied to this location? I need to know that first so I can make all my decisions within that realm of that space. Frontier's got hard locks in there. It hits these walls. I can't do that. That system, system permit. I can't do anything from that system. This system over here has access. Who's in power there? Cellar Forge has to do all that stuff and crunch all that simultaneously while it's trying to figure it out. You can see. It really has a good seven to eight seconds that it's trying to process that data in that space. It takes it a bit. I usually give it that. Once it's done and it's crunched its numbers, it's got its data, then it's ready to go. I'm already ready to go. It takes it a second. Once it's ready to go, it's good. I hop into a nav beacon. It's a little different. It's only way in the options immediately. Going back after another one of these little spicy ones. Remember, I deactivated those other two. I have to restack that and deactivate the other ones instead. See how fast this works. Those are the right ones. I want those ones. Because they're the ones up top. I don't want the ones underneath. To do it. I sack a little too much power. Missiles. Similar loadout, but I switched it. See how fast I can drop these shields when I just. literally right in front of my flight path. Hot on this little bastard. Still here. away. Bring it. Wait for you. I don't want to fly all the way over there. I'm old. Missed me. Missed again. Awfully fast shooting missiles. How many racks of missiles you got on there? Last time I checked you got four slots. How you shooting two? How you shooting two while you shooting everything else? Ship. It's my first sign. It's got my wings now, too. Let go of my ship, fucker. Hey. Way over the top. That one. I let it get. Run and just dumb fire. It's not very cool. Get a little brave. rubber band in like crazy right here, but the snap is rubber band. Alright, Jefferson, you ready? Back our backup. Alright. 
crunch rounds, bud. even shot once. had to risk it for the biscuit. Blue inside gravitational. Where did the other ship go? Where did he see? No, oh, there he goes. Ah, little prick. Go ahead, Jefferson. Thank you. way to a hundred, Jefferson. Nobody here. Not a single ship on the reticle. They really took off. Extra spicy. Had to get a little more oppositional than that one, let's say. Had to take some damage to give some damage, more or less. trying to ricochet the missile that he was shooting at me back into his ass, which I've done before, but couldn't quite get the angle just right. He was really pulling that ship hard right when he would come through there, or hard left, depending on which direction he was going, what side of me he was entering on. He was really trying to bank it. Flick that missile off that other one, seen him on the reticle and see where he went. Boy, he spiraled out of the way. He went, the frick and frick, something's coming behind me. Yeah, that's your missile. I gave it back to you, you little bastard. Clip my back wing, though. Because when you look at the ship, usually I check it before I leave, which is pretty funny, because you can see the damage marks. You can watch the missile. It peels all the way across, but I caught this. I hit this. Hit this beam right here that runs the back, clipped it, accidentally hit it. You can see I got my boosters back here, set to the back, right underneath the wings so they can't hit them from the top. They're shielded, so they gotta shoot through that. So you gotta come down in here to get to them, so they can't get them from up top. That's why I got this. Really, it's a spoiler and everybody bitches a fit, but really it's not. It's a shield layer. This right here is a layer on my ship to protect it. That's what that's doing up there. And there is centrifugal rotation and stuff. And I've got these, right? Because from underneath, they can't take out the engines because they have to target it straight on, which causes them to have to move. Same thing. Underneath here, right? See that? It's showing through there, through that vent. But I've got the other booster back here. Charging up. Also got one up front. Here. 
B-class one. So I've got all four corners covered, more or less. Shields all the way around. All right. Let's do this. Let's dock this puppy. Jefferson's got us at 100. There's no little ships around. Casual. You can see, left side's more accurate than right side. So right side, it says, my optimal range would be here, but it's not. Because it makes that top distance close too fast. It's a lie. So it should be down right in here is where it should be. That blue bar on the right-hand side hasn't moved yet, and it should be down there at the bottom already. The left side is already telling me where I should be. This one over here is a lie. It's not matching. It's off. You'll see, it'll scooch down all of a sudden. It'll shift abruptly. The other side's right. Left side, perfect. Right side, incorrect. Doesn't match. It's wrong. Because if I'm flying, looking way over here, when it's like right here, it's like looking out the window when you're driving straight down the road. It's stupid. That menu is in the wrong spot. It should be over here. Both of those two bars should match this bar over here. The one bar should be speed, which is your power, right? Should be that other bar. And the distance, which is on that side, should be the blue bar that's over here on this same piece. These two are conflicting, not working together. Though this one also gathers data from this side. It collects it and puts it here. It also gathers data itself, which is why it has a problem. Because if they tamper with something but don't reflect it in the other space over on this side of the screen, the distance and speed screws it up over here. That's why this hasn't been working on this side. It's off. I hate when they do that. They literally missed it. They gotta go in there and finish the rest of their line of code, so we'll do it in all of those locations. They didn't do it. They move objects and it doesn't match here. See, now it's accurate. You can see it. It's down at the bottom. The blue bar is there. That blue bar is in the bar. Perfect. We're right where we need to be. We're at 7. Amazing. Here we are. It's off. That whole top section of it is off. I don't know why they didn't take two seconds and when they're done updating it, say, is that correct? Does that have all of my little check marks there? Everything that ties to that one thing that I just changed. They don't. If they did, we wouldn't have as many problems as we get. Your docking request has been approved. hot boost and swung this puppy around. Which one you got me on? Eight? Let's see it. Love it. Lots of room. No pads in my way. Flying center mass. Casual. Gotta watch out for that giant thing on the right hand side there. It says danger. It's because the fuel cells are all right there. Hit that thing. Up goes the Oculus. Watch out for this giant impact barrier here, too. This crane here. Crane worker is probably like the prick. Is that that commander that's been hotting up the pirates here? Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Man, I want to get his autograph. Here you go. All right. That's just nice of them. Alright. Cash me out. Spicy little bugger. Almost worth 200,000. It's fine. Alright. 20. Right on the old winglet. Though. Scratch the outside. Alright. Back at it. 
Out we go. Let's go get him. Let's go and get him. Time? Perfect. Wait for old Type 9 to figure out what he's doing. I'm back going. I'm right behind you, buddy. Now we're talking. There you go. Finally. Do it. Don't stall out. Keep going. You had it. I let you. Go for it. You were on it. I was so happy when I seen what you just did. I was like, the frick? Excellent. All of them. Why like that? Let's haul ass. We can fly these fuckers. Let's go. You don't have to sit there and do that. Punch it. Three of us can fit through there, really. You guys gotta get better. You can make it happen. No traffic back up in there, unless it's a Type 10 or a Type 9. Then we gotta wait. It takes up the whole slot. We can't squeeze through. Alright, we're gone. We're out of here. Let's do it. Slow going. Alright. I'm gonna be up here this time. Right here. We'll give it a second. Get up out of this range here. Unlock that. So I don't need that. Casual. Right there. Alright, how's our numbers looking? Where are we at? 13. Out of 25. We're still alive. Let's go wake him up again. Heading back. Put her in the blue. Casual. Perfect. We're cruising. So, what else do we got to do after we kill these dudes? Take out JP, that'll take no time. Fly over to Olaf. Well, our last mission to get what we need here. Cash out back at mission base, right? Blotter system. I'll leave the aid on here. That's fine. No problem. For the fuel tank. We'll go to Olaf there. Find our little terrorist. If he's flying around, we'll scan for him. Because by this point, he should be off the system. If he's got to scan and do the base inner. Thing and all that other crap, not happening. What I'll probably do in that instance, if that's the case, they want me to do that. What I'll do is I'll I'll buy a crappy ass sidewinder, right? I'll load it up with those recon limpets. We'll fly near the base, but I won't go to it, and I'll send the recon limpets in. I'll put get an SRV too. Put that in the ship just in case for some reason I got to sneak in there and do something else. I'll do it at at range. I won't even get within. Landing distance of the base itself. We'll send the recon limpet in. Have him hack it. He can scan the thing from that distance. I flew in with a ship before and scanned it, but it's like, even if you do it outside of the scan range, because I got long range scanners, longer range than the base has got. Usually I can pick up the base before they can pick up me on the signal source. I scan it at range, but it doesn't matter. As soon as you touch, computer network of that base. It automatically puts a bounty on you. Your notoriety goes up right away. Immediately. Which is BS. There's no espionage. Right there. It's immediately... It's like you drove in there with the, the headlights on, straight through the gate, in a crappy tow truck dragging three semis behind you. It's the noisiest, even though you're doing full-on recon with it. Doesn't matter. Wish you could land. It would be cool. I might try this, because it's getting close. Probably, like I said, a couple more... Maybe two months from now. So I'll probably be... Game expansion time for me. I'll have my other chair, because that's first priority first. Chair first, because I hate this chair so much. The base is great, but the part I set on is... Made from... Demons. It's the suckiest top of this. You can't even believe it. It's ridiculous. Yesterday I was at Walmart and I looked at these, they had these pillows there. 
I I looked at the pillow and I said, Oh, that looks nice to set on. So I got some uh, seven layer OSB outside. I could cut it. Right. Take the pillow and do some modifications and stretch that sucker around and put some anchor screws inside there. Tap it into that seven layer OSB on the bottom and then take the pillow and all that stuff and then wrap the whole top. I got fabric over here. I can sew. I can run a sewing machine. I'll run myself a new uh, top for it, sew it around the outside, make a chair temporarily. Right on that cusp of that little project. It's just got to be more than nine degrees outside because I need some hand use more or less and I'm going to be out there for a bit fabricating that up. But I want to get that chair, get that on and then, like I said, ground access here in Odyssey may be a thing. Try out heading to one of those bases, land at distance, see how long the ship range is to my little tech suit that I got. It's awfully slow. Not much time you have in that, and that's really a lost cause for Odyssey. Really shouldn't have put that much of a tether on those damn space suits. Space legs, but it's more like space walker, because you're not going to get too far. No. So, they need to unchain that a little bit more and use some military-grade space suits. That's what they need. Remlock. Right, Manicor. Those are military spec space suits. They're not the civilian ones that Remlock makes, because they also make civilian stuff. They have military stuff. So why isn't it military grade? Should have onboard synthesis. If it gets damaged or the glass gets hit, like let's say you take a round right to the face, blows your glass out, well obviously now you got a space suit leak. It's still synthesizing oxygen, but it's gonna deplete, just like when your HUD goes out. I'm not out of oxygen here. I can fly around the galaxy all the time. It's operating. The space suit should have been the same. It defeats the purpose of what it is. It's another layer of, of broken immersion in that case. Now, you're running a civilian suit, and you're out there doing it. Say that's all you had access to get was a civilian one. You're going to be limited for sure. Where are my targets? Oh, wow, you really slipshot it out of there. Okay, spikes. Okay, anybody different in here besides that? Let's look. Okay. Still the same old crap. Okay, lose chafe. There you go. Just wait, Jefferson. I want to see what else is going on. Keep hitting these little wipers on. Suck that down. Use your chafe. You go. What are you doing? Now you're doing some combat. Do that too. Shoot yourself, so you shoot your muscle through your chafe. It's never gonna hit me because it's all disfogged. The target the clock is gone. On your own muscle. You gotta shoot a little bit left. Let's see. There you go. There you go. Now do your chafe. Then your chafe. to help you. Right. There you go. You almost had it. Fucked out. You really pissed me off. Well, oh, that's good. Shape it up. Go for it. Go hit you. That way. Locked on your weight. You shoot. You still this. Okay. Go. Now shoot your missile. Really, you should be shooting it right when you come underneath there. Not in a position to pull it away. Then you catch on. Away from Jefferson to do anything. I'm doing a different maneuver here. Do the flight plan. I have more than enough to boost. Yeah. 
that thing. on that one. All four of them. It's still the drop. No way. Field layer should have been done. It should be on the last shoot. But I waited all the way until the end. rest of my ship. Is that malfunctioning too? Can I go the rest of the way? I have it. It's right here. More than enough. Clearly there's almost an entire bar there at the time I press. Where's my boost? My pips are all moved around. So I should know that I'm pushing it extra hard right now. Really trying some cheats to get Almost neck and neck. Side shields, which you don't really care about. Really trying. Pulse attack. Full reinforcements for the Normal shield. I've got more than enough. Finish shred. Need 50%. Pull that for me, buddy. Yeah, not from alpha. Fifty, so we switch. Go in there and fix it. If I can. All right, so we're back to that point. Here we go. Getting boost. Right. So we know I can't go in there and fix it, even though I can. I have everything on board to fix those modules, but we won't. Okay. No guns. No combat. Because I have it. It's here. I have more than enough inside this, stacked up from when we were doing what we did, to fix it. I'll go to the module. Fragment cannons, right? I want the multi-cannons. Go over here. And they're, they're moved from where they were, because I had them all on, all on two. So those even change. Which I didn't do. See, I can't even, I can't even access them on the menu. It won't let me access them on the menu right now. I can't get down to them and power them off or on. It won't let me access them. So how do I fix them? It's locked me out. From repairing the module that I have everything to repair. So what would be the point of repairing it, right? That's a frontier thing, not a game thing. You can literally go in there and fix those. If they have damage to them. It's there. It's in the game. They've locked it. 
wasn't like that before. They did that. They literally went in and changed it. So when the guns are got down, you can't fix it. Cool. So then I guess it's done. So what's the point of staying there? No point. Time to go, right? So no new signals, no nothing new there. Go back here. And I'll have them fix these again. These are tossers, so when we're done taking out these bastards, these guns go in the garbage. Because they've been repaired a lot. So. Waste of my time, that whole thing was waste. However long it took from the start we started that combat situation to right now was waste. It's all a loss. Zero gain from that. It's just time wasted. Annoying. Back here we go. And it has to be way over here and they have to be way over there so it takes all this time is added to the instance. It knows that there's a time duration so every time I have to fly back and get rounds and go back it's almost impossible success and fail on these. It's how it's set up. Whoever designed these inside there needs to get punched right in the face and say, do not design these like this. This is the stupidest thing ever. How long you have truncated this down. There is a measure of success and fail for a reason. It needs to be proper. There has to be just as much measure for success as there is for fail. Minimal and at maximum. Period. It's not in these instances. That's why I rarely ever take these. But... We didn't cover this on the stream yet, so we're doing it in real time because it's just easier to do this. I'd be talking on here about this forever. You guys get to see it in real time. This is what this does. It's flat out. My combat rank doesn't match theirs very precisely. This was a reset on here, so I'm definitely lower rank than they are. Clearly not in real time lower rank than they are. If I was, I would be dead already. We would have a lot of ships in the circular file by now. Not on my walk. So back in here we go. Back to O'Neill system. It's a little starport from hell. It was extra grouchy and we changed it up a bit. So, flat cannons. It's getting wise. They're great, point blank range, but boy I gotta wait. They really use a lot, because its targeting system has drawn a lot of extra juice. Just to keep them on point. Jefferson has a hard time with them. Can't cut shield layers down with just the multi-cannons, because it won't let me. Even though clearly we can. I've shredded a Kray at less than 30 seconds. Full shields, boosters on it and everything, and just literally crushed it. This is a Mark III. It has far less than that at maximum. There's no way that it can survive, but it's fine. Keep testing out the little Mark III. Fast little bastard. I like a fast ship. I think the other ones are a little too slow and I gotta slow my fighting down. I hate doing that. It's boring. I want fast combat. Can't do fast combat when they're nerfing you. Also slows it down. Giant pain in the ass as well. Where are we at with this? Look at that number again. 13. Should have been 14 right now, but... And I could have pulled the ship around, it wouldn't let me do it. I had full pips, but... Press the button a thousand times. Let's see how my menus are when I get back here. Let's see if it just lets me get into the damn starport. With two presses, because that's what it should be. Seconds. As if I said, hail them on comms, and immediately they're on comms. That's how long it takes me to press the button. Let's see if they do. I'm awfully curious. Been every single freaking time back here. Maybe one of these will get it right. Two little Fedcon ships there. Open around. Inside planetary gravity. I'll fly out of it. Not landing on the planet. Here, pull out of it, Jefferson does have a wide range, and this stupid starport's literally setting on top. Crap placement for this, too. I hate the bubble so much, except for blotter system. That's about it. It's super dumb. No 
Mega Neb was awesome. Perfect. Eagle Neb was dark AF. Not really much you could do there. Awfully stupid. There's a couple other nebulas that had some isolated pockets of stuff that was pretty good. Not many other ones. Very few and far between. Near where the bridge was at. They're not really super great. They're definitely better. Getting closer. There we are. Out of gravity now. Exclusion zone is behind us. Waiting on the old 1mm. Ticking down. Three. Approaching two. Approaching one. Coasting down and... That was a while back there, Jefferson, but thanks. Landing her down. Casual. I wish I could take two small hard points and turn it into a medium hard point. So I would. That would be great. Okay, so let's realign this here. Okay. 
So what's up with these? I can't fix these? What's the deal with this? You got them now? There you go. Rebuilt. Okay. So now, let's fix this. Like so. Let's go. Let's take that out. Gotta be cautious with the missile launches, though. Gotta use it like we got it, and then what will happen is it's gonna be drawing a lot more power initially, so I'm not gonna be able to boost as great as I would like, we'll say. You have been disengaged from the dock. Be careful to observe restrictions when leaving the station. Oh, I will. There you go. Get in there. Yep, 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 yep. Do it. Do it. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Now we're talking. Good. Love everything I just see. That's how you guys need to do that all the time. Get out. Alright, let go of me so I can go here, guys. Perfect. Good driving I've seen so far. Getting braver. That's what they should be doing. Alright, show them to me. Alright, let's go. Oh, giant planet. Gotta fly around this big rock here. It's awfully obtrusive in my flight path. So we'll wait around this big rock. We're on the back side of it. Orbit. So now the starport is behind the planet now. We have to fly around it every time. Alright. Pass the rings. We're cruising. Wish you could put some, uh, you know, like little tunes in there from YouTube and feed it through our ship so we can really be jamming while we're out here doing some hot combat. Just got the little thing in there. If you listen to some stuff important, block out Jefferson's noise. <laughs> listen to something else. Maybe the Colvass will be telling us about some different stuff in the old codex. Could do that, I guess. Spice it up. I do that sometimes when I'm out exploring. I'll pull that up and let it play through some different stuff. Don't listen to the news because I don't care. That's their news. Their problems that they created to create their news. It's not productive space. It's a destructive space, more or less. Their dumbness, so. Nothing cool yet in there that I've seen. Not worth my time. I think out of the whole time that they've had community stuff, there's only been two events I've had an interest in. And I wasted all the time flying to get to the one instance, and by the time I got there, it wasn't fast enough. Literally flew forever to get to this thing. 
They were so adamant to get us from where we were over to this location, and I flew as fast as the ship could go. There was no other way to go any quicker. Left, as soon as it was there, and still couldn't get to it. It's like, wow, you isolated your community space for that event. The other one was much the same. Uh, you couldn't actually get to it. You were out and about doing stuff. There was almost no chance. You had to literally be there to be able to participate. Not everybody was sitting there, out doing stuff, got stuff to do. So we're out flying around and doing different things, and it's like, the frick? That thing is on the other side. I'm never going to make it back there unless somehow I had another account to go back into that instance in a different thing. Right. That's why I didn't leave anywhere on this one. Stayed right in here, even though I don't really like it. I'd much rather be exploring out there and heading somewhere else, doing some other stuff. Could be helping Brewer Logistics on this account here, too cover the distance to take off, which I may do. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. And this one here, kind of free reign to do whatever we want. There's no rules really too much on this one. We're going to push it and stretch out whatever part of the game is in here and test it all, every little piece of it. And all of its different combinations to see if there's anything that we can do in here to improve it. And if we can, I put it in the pilot logs. Make a huge list of it. We'll do the streams like we've been doing. This is how you can fix this. We're not just flying and going pew pew and whatever. There's other stuff happening in the background because this is what they should be doing. Game testing, that's kind of what this is, more or less. Active. They had a new feature that they were going to put in the game. Let's see it. Be open. Have it right there. Community space is there in the chat. Show us what it does. Let me see it. Show it to us. Explain it to us as you're doing. No. Haven't done it. They don't want to hear the comments except... This is great. This is awesome. Well, it can be great and awesome, so let's get it to that point. Here's what's wrong with it, so let's fix it. Let's make it the rest of the way. Move this around, shuffle that. This could be better here. Say this like this. Increase this, decrease that. It's all there. It's a lot of conversation. They're in a hurry and they don't have time for conversation usually. They gotta punch out the thing. That's what it seems like lately. It'd be different if the game space we have here was really small and they did what they did like this, then it wouldn't matter. The game space is massive and has so much potential to do so much badass stuff. Otherwise, I wouldn't even say anything. Just say, well, this is a tiny little space that's going to never improve from what it is. The problem is, is this space is massive and has tons of badass stuff it can do, and it's not improving because the space isn't letting it. The designers are not allowing the space to be badass the rest of the way. It's just the start of the conversation. It can do so much more, it can make them so much money, really. I mean, if they want to think business-wise, cash in pocket. They need to outsource this thing, and they need to outsource it right away. Because their design team in-house needs some help. They pat themselves on the back, and they should be kicking themselves in the ass more often. They never take a walk around that design. If they did, it wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. I, as a player, shouldn't have this be something that I'm dealing with. I should be playing the game should be able to see it in motion fluidly and doing everything. If I know my ship, it's my ship. It's literally there every time, no matter what instance or combination of instances I'm in. The actions rely on me. But they're taking away autonomy when they're doing that. My autonomy is then taken away because the game is now in control of the space. I can't fly my ship. I can't do what I need to do with my ship. Even though I've done it millions of times in other spaces, outside of a mission, in a mission, it's stopping me from accomplishing. It doesn't simulate challenge or combat rank. There's other ways to make that happen. They need to look at those other ways. It's a real downfall. So I've had some pretty good games that had some different ways to take a look at that. How to adjust that space. They did pretty good with it. Across the years, different different 
combat games related to vehicles and ships. Some different measures to that. They don't do all of those here. They could do that. Could be some pretty good stuff. They got the modules figured out. That's not bad. But we can't modularize the space completely. I'd like to, like I said, move it around. Two smalls, now they're a medium. Why not? The power grid's exactly the same for the two things. I know because I checked it. So it's obviously measuring them like that. So let us do that like that. That would be the engineer. Get in there and mess with it properly all the way. Get the combat the rest of the way. Fix it. Help Stellar Forge be badass. I want Stellar Forge's AI ships to be difficult to fight. I want them to measure against their rank properly. I want their flight maneuvers to be different. I want them to be able to move and anticipate things and do different combat at their rank. Not by reducing my capacity. But by representing their capacity. That's what it should happen. Like I said, that chart is backwards. It should actually be the opposite direction. And anything that reaches the zero is zero. It shouldn't reduce it less than that. Zero is zero. Negative onto it doesn't make any sense. Be like, well, if you're a rookie pilot and you take out an elite level pilot, that should be a thing could if that ship outflies them. Yes, they can. If they equip their ship and they fly their ship and pull it off, they should be able to do it. If that person who's in that ship can't maintain their ship to their combat rank, because it shouldn't just be a namesake. They're elite, so it's hands off. No. They're elite because they've got a lot of hours and they're playing the game. Or they didn't. So then where's the measure, right? Representative in the space. Crime and punishment falls into that category. They can't fly their ship at their elite level because they expedited the game by some measure. That's on them. They messed up. The frick? How am I supposed to fight all this shit? That ain't happening. Getting spicier by the second, huh? Alright, well, I'll get creative. Frickin' Vulture. That's my only choice. Means I'll we'll have to be cautious on this one. Plus, no choice there. It's an awfully big ship. This is going to be a shield tank with faster than I'm going to have to cart around with for a half an hour. Staying on target's going to be a treat, too.
pair of bolts. Goodbye. Orange shield emitters. What's all this crap you dropped? Buddy bailed. They got the frick out. What's it? Wait, 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 wait. That's new. That's new. Give me that. Goodness. Module reinforcement package. Little bugger was really blasting. That sucks, huh? Alright, let's go. He was trying to cut through. He was working his way through trying to get to my freaking thing. He wanted to try to get rid of it. Good luck. We got griefers here still. I'm busy. We got a bail after we grab this up. Still good. Roddy. Greedy. Let them grab the rest. Just needed something new, something good. That's good. Take that. Take some. Still above 50. Frick you, vulture tanked. Thank you, Jefferson. Now we're at 50%. Perfect. Alright. Show it. Like I said, missiles, you gotta be on point. That other one I accidentally shot when he was flying underneath me, which was a little close. So I took a little bit of that, but hey, that really compressed that explosion. So that threw him off of his flight. He literally was tossed. On the reticle there, he went for a ride. He took it. It took it. I put the D-classes back there, stagger stuff, both of them, so... It absorbed it, but it was tough. I have reinforcement back there, and that could have been how that got damaged up, too, because it was literally right there. Almost blew the back of my ship clean off, but it's reinforced in case they decide to ram. That's fine. I've got it set up. No problem. So, then after that, he was like, I can't fly like that. Yeah, you can't. You're going to have to fly different, because I see where your little missile defense turret system is. That's why I always shoot the first one. It's just to check. Where is it? Up top? Perfect. And I know right where I need to shoot those missiles. I waited until he was on the pass, and I know how fast that missile turret defense activates. And if he's flying at me and I'm flying at him, I'll boost first, I'll wait, and then I shoot the missile. It's too fast. It can't hit it fast enough. He takes the full brunt of it. He's flying into it at full speed. The missile hits him even faster. It closes the distance even faster. Faster than the missile turret defense can do its thing. Shield layer down. Next. It's awfully aggressive combat setup right now. Usually I don't do this one. Because this one's messy. You can see. I'm, I'm hurt also. I have to fly awfully dirty. I'm letting my ship get ripped apart. But the Icarus can handle it. I do have module reinforcement inside. I'm not dumb. I have almost as many module as I have hull. But I had to stagger step those also. I had to think about where... In the layering process, do I need that? Low end, mid range, or high end? Because there's only so many slots on the ship, so you have to put them in the right one. So I have it spread across there pretty specific. Try to cover the modules so they're protected. I need to make sure that they have a hard time cutting through when my shields go down. It's got to be almost as difficult as cutting through the shield layers to start with. But again, this one's risky. Because now they're going to be pissed. That was a lot. Because we already know the Vulture shield tank's awfully hard. About as much as the Courier can is shield tank. It's not running the Gudamaya on there, but it's got a huge-ass freaking power supply. You can definitely take and tank it out with shields. Easily. But he was running some stupid weapons on there. Really dumb. We know it only has two slots. Right? You've seen it. It's an awful lot of switch up there. Trying quite a range of weaponry. 
That's okay. Problem. So how's our numbers now? 14. Good. Whittle them down. We'll dock here, get some more missiles, because I used the last one. I take the multi-cannon and switch it up, but I don't need any more. Much rather have the multi-cannons up top. I could put the missile rack up top, put the smaller multi-cannons on the bottom. The problem with that is missile rack is on one side or the other, because I wouldn't put it on both. That big missile rack, even though I have more missiles to play with, it's more risky because I have more missiles to play with. So what they'll end up doing is they'll put more than one of those defense systems on there. So the AI, obviously, tries to create opposition and measure. Equal, equal, right? So it will try and equip its ship with what it would need to cause proper defense if timed properly. Sometimes it has to switch up in combat, change that loadout. It has no option and they haven't done anything to stop it from doing it. So it will do that. Definitely change its loadout and switch it up. Will definitely change. I allow it to because it needs the help, but when it starts running two missile defenses, I have to take one of them out. I have to then target the module and destroy it. There's no other choice. But then what happens is the AI will go in there and it takes about three or four passes and you'll see it. That module will be back up and operational because it will repair it, even though it won't let us do it. Been in combat already several times today. I have everything on my ship to synthesize a full-on repair for my modules. I can recharge them with no ammo. The material I have is very specific to just repair the modules themselves. I had to go get it. I had to fly all over. I didn't do all kinds of stuff. I was on here all day. Today since yesterday's stream. Stopped long enough to eat. Hopped on and started doing it. Messed with the furnace off and on. Had to go get to town, back home. A little trips, work on a little bit of stuff outside, back inside, doing some stuff. A lot of things I had to do. So, it's like day, who knows, 10, 11, I've been awake, working on stuff. So, doing this so that you guys can see the full range of this entire space. It won't let us go in and fix those, even if we have it. I made sure I had everything for every one of them. So that took a bit. I had to shop around. A lot of flying. I got it all. More than enough. I can repair everything at least once. Should be able to do it in combat. It won't let me. Now if I could power the ship down and scab parts from the entire ship and do it. That's the workaround. That's BS. There's no way in hell I'm scabbing parts from my ship because then they're lesser. That's what it accepts. It accepts more failure than it already has with your module being destroyed. It wants more failure. It gets greedy. So that's vindictive. It's not productive. It's purposefully put in there like that. Because that's not what's in there. We have mechanics to operate the space. We need to be able to use them. Lock them. Lincoln, Juliet, November, India. So the AI uses it. Bureau, okay. Have Please Love. proceed to bay 3-7. Love. Coming in. Just me and the FedCon ships here circling in. Little vultures. Buddy in there sneaking out. I see a ship in there. What are they doing in there? Where's the green light and red light? There it is. There's the interior. Let's see my little landing pad. Stay on this heading. Love it. Let's see my landing pad. You got me in a good spot here. Good spot. Love it. Wait. Coming in. Look at the little trucks. What are you guys carrying back and forth there? Carrying some goodies. Re up. Get across there. Coming in. Watch out. A lot of activity in here right now. Boy, the trucks are running. Getting paid extra now. Glad to have you with us at the station, Commander. 
Oh, I'm sure you are. Driving up on the ceiling, too. Got their little magnetic drive path. They've got their, uh... Metal tires, more or less. And you gotta think, the cargo they have in their back is just free hanging from there in the back, unless those are also magnetized as well, inside the back of their truck. It's like a little racetrack. You know, there's a lot of trucks there. Boy, they're really falling. They're just driving through, though, you know? Making the loops. So that could be better. It's just one half-ass animation through there. They could make it better where they come down and take these little bypasses and come down off that ramp. Because you can see there's little ramps there that come down. They should be able to take those off ramps and come down in there and be doing some other stuff. That's what they should be doing. Driving off that, taking that little off ramp and going down that side road inside there and doing some other stuff at some of these other locations. That's what they should be doing in here. Alright. More sightseeing. We've got business to attend to. Let's cash out little vulture boy there. Alrighty. Fix my little scratch here. Let me get a couple scratches. Nothing I could do about that. Now. This dude. Oh, expensive little guy, huh? Sure, he felt expensive. I'll allow it. All right. Let's go. Captain was like, we're leaving already with the brick. Yeah, hurry up. Get in your seat there, Jefferson. I will. What's that dude doing out there? Flying in or what? He's awfully close. He's chilling? I don't know what he's doing. Type 9. No, oh, okay. You want to get in there? Have it. It's all you, buddy. You die. I'm going to be getting one of those myself. Alright. What were we at? 14. Making profits. 14 to 25. Supposed to be away. Let's go. Let's do it. Discovered mission source. Yep. Where they're at. I already know. They're down here. Casual. Awfully glitchy there. It's awfully dark here too, so we know what that is. It's like Blackest to the black on that one. So we're cruising. Back to our little mission location. Hopefully they give us some better ships this time. The Prick. They had all kinds of big ones. No good choices that last time. Prick that. Not inside one of those. Not being nerfed, plus having them be three ranks higher, that ain't happening. 50% chance of success? No thanks. Lighten with them, you might as well just start the ship right at 50% on shields and 50% on hull. That's basically what you're going to get to within seconds. No good. Too risky. Cruise. Casual. Or chip. We're on the back side of the system now in rotations. That's why it's super dark. Lights all behind us now. Can't really see nothing. By midday tomorrow, the sun will be back around on the other side. In game. What I could do is I could keep this ship that we're in right now, the Icarus. I could take the fuel scoop off 
I could increase the fuel tank back to 16 to make sure we for sure make it to our destination. I could, um, in the fuel scoop spot, put those recon modules uh, to do the limpets, right? And then, oh no, I could, I'd have to put a rack in because the limpets need a rack. It sucks. So I wouldn't be able to do that. I have to fly it without doing it. It sucks. We'll have to figure out a workaround. I might be able to take a dookie ship, like I said. Take out that terrorist next. It'll take these guys a bit. Once we take these guys all out, it'll take them a bit to figure out what they're going to do. Stellar Forge will process this whole thing. Figure out if the Don's going to come out or not. I have to weigh the options and all the systems that they are present in current. They've got six systems that they're in. So I dwindled the numbers down across the board from here. This is it. Their influence is like a little sliver. So we've really got to piss them off all the way to nothing. They'll send strike contracts out against me. I'll be interdicted more often also. They'll definitely send ships after us. So we'll have to be potted up for combat at all times, we'll say. Can't be an instance in which we're not in. Stellar Forge will watch, and when we think everything's cool and we happen to be dangerously low, all of a sudden interdiction pops in. So if we're low and an interdiction pops in, we have to err on the side of caution, not be dumb. Avoid interdiction if we're that low. It's not worth it. So we'd lose the ship. We could definitely avoid interdiction. It's no problem. It'd have to be a Federal Corvette. Something big enough. With a lot of mass to be able to yank us. I don't even think an Anaconda would be able to do it. Usually when they load their ship out, it's not fast enough to be able to maintain it. They can't handle it as good. It's all working around when they've got me yanked. It's like they shoot a chain from their ship to yours. Picture it like that. So if you work that, you work that screen around. You fly your ship around. You're tossing them around like they're a parachute behind you. That's kind of what it is. They're trying to slow you down enough to pull you out of Super Cruise. So if you keep your speed up, keep your your target thing in the blue, more or less. Keep your speed up. Avoids them from slowing down. When they break free from that, they're hurt. Because they go toss and tumbling. If they were a small ship, they're going to take some damage from that. It's not going to be pretty. If they're a sizable ship, they might pop out in an instance near where you are and, and come back for seconds, which is what happens usually. If it's a big enough ship, they'll, they'll be back doesn't take them too long. It might be one interdiction right after the other. Because it'll, it'll stop them, they'll have to bail because they're taking damage. They'll bail and then they have to go back into the instance again and do it. I've had them do it three times, and then if they lost all three, they don't try to get three successes before three fails or it won't do it, right? So if it gets three fails, then it backs off. It rethinks it. Stellar Forge won't try the fourth interdiction until it knows for sure that it can get the other ship. If it thinks your resource has been depleted in some way, some vulnerability or whatever, then it will come back. Otherwise, it just says it's not worth it. I can't win this instance. It's going to get away every time. It won't try to attempt it the fourth time. So, at least that is measured in the space proper. There's a couple of high-ticket instances where once one ship is done, another ship will come in. You know, you'll end up getting a couple other ones in there too, so... We'll have to see. Um, see what's what. So we'll keep on plugging. Plugging away. Let's see what we can do. Stop back out of the house. Nothing there. Or no, we do. We do. Take the cart. They don't need that power. Anymore. Little sliver of power running that stupid cargo hatch. Just, just enough. That way I can run my pips the way I got it and I don't have to worry about nothing. Alright. Keep it.
out of it. Synthesis to be able to do some like, missile redo so I can get some more missile synthesized while I'm in combat. Put Jefferson. knows that, it won't let me. Heck on, magically, it's shield here. Alright, Jefferson, I'll get my ship back, so you can't run guns for a second. Let's take the TARDIS out. What? You don't like guns? Literally, it's forwards, forward. There you go. Now you're gone. It's literally not showing anything that it's doing on the screen. It's showing zero weapons popping out. It's showing zero on everything, really.
behind you, little Billy. Skyboarding job for something to get you out of here. 3%. All on you. you Do it through the shields, Jeffers. Percent. Ah, cabs. Two sec. Do it. We're out of here. Goodbye. Shield duty, Jefferson. Active port. More bullets. Oh, oh, two, two buttons. Is that the bob? Farther and farther away. All right, chill. Casual. All right. Now how we doing? For ten left. For bastards. Yeah, see two missile racks. I don't know. Flat cannon's a little bit better. Because it can reload. The missile is reloading and the flat cannon is already loaded. So between the two, if I time it just right, they're offset from each other, so at least there's something saturating the shield layer right off the bat. The little multi-cannons is just when he passes by and I can sideboard, because I can rotate those around, so that works out pretty good. The sucky part is trying to keep the top ones going, because they can't cross them over unless I rotate the ship, which throws the other guns off. That's the sucky part. So I, I almost have to fly about 10% off from the target in order to make it as effective as I can so Jefferson can manage those flax because otherwise it's no good. It sucks. It was really trying to nerf, but it wasn't doing too bad that time. It was really trying. It gave me most of my ship that time. It wasn't less than 25%. It was definitely doing it, but it wasn't too bad. The other ships bailed real quick. Because I hotted it up with those missiles in that first six, seven seconds, because I, I wasn't waiting. Should have waited for the last four, but I used two a little early, just to make sure we could get that down under 50. The AI is like, I gotta do something different, because it's hurt. For sure it's in big trouble. So, no, no choice on that one. Um, Scratched my paint, he said. I thought he said crapped his pants, is what I thought. He did. So what do we get from that dude? 175. It's all wanted by the same instances here. Almost bet these guys are wanted in like seven or eight freaking systems, because that's they have quite a range to their dumb stuff they've been doing. 
We'll have to see. Who knows? One time I'll actually set the ship up with all that other stuff and go full on bounty hunting and see if when I scan something it's actually worth all the extra effort. Sometimes it is, but a lot of times I ran into it and it was just you got to run around to get paid. You can't. Even the Interstellars don't seem to be able to do it because they take a cut. An Interstellar turning in the bounties takes their cut from it. Whereas if you take it directly to the system, they don't have a cut. You get paid the full amount. So you, on the one side, using it, you can get a little bit extra, but is it worth all the extra effort? Because you put yourself a little vulnerable in those instances because you're scanning when you should be shooting, more or less. You're wasting those critical moments getting that scan data. So it's, it's a lot of timing. You have to really practice with it. I don't really do it a lot, so I don't have a good practice with it. I'm sure you could probably increase it to where you can reduce that delay down, but for me, it's... It's a lot of extra, because you have to, it has to scan. It's just like when you scan something else in there, like a nav beacon. You're scanning the nav beacon. It's about like that when you're doing it. It's, it's got a range of time to it that's crucial in combat. That's now being wasted. If you could do it automatically, and, the, and it was early on in, in Elite when I did it. I haven't done it since they've done a lot of other updates, so it could have had some changes since then, so don't go off of that. Like I said, I haven't been using it. I don't I didn't like it when it was in there because it was too risky. I did the Mark III, I turned it into a bounty hunting ship and had some stuff on there and was flying around. It was The cash payout would have been good if I would have got the full amount and it would be definitely worth running it because you're putting yourself at risk but then there's also that extra payout. But then I was like, man, if I just take these right to the dudes, I got to fly around a lot of extra though. And I was like, that kind of sucks. There's a lot of extra time there. Interstellar works great. You're like, okay, cool. So I make a little extra. But is it worth it? I was like, by the time I fix the damage that I sustain doing the scan, I have to weigh the options. It's profit and loss, right? Got to weigh it all. Bullets, all the ammo, the repairs, the fuel to go and get the payout, all that stuff. Fuel for the combat. Got to cash it all out. It was minuscule at that time when I was doing it. So I said, that's not really worth it. If I just hot the person up quick, I use limited fuel and limited ammo because the combat is a shorter duration. The target's gone, and I'm already back to port cashing out. Between that and having it take a longer time with a little bit extra, it didn't really pan out for me in the early time. It's been a long time since I went in there and did it. I might do it again. Mark III works really good for that. You can set it all up just like I did before and... and do all that in that space and see what happened, see what they did. Might have made some changes. I know they went in and did some different stuff with mining, so there's some a couple extras. They might have maybe went in and fixed that up a little bit. Never. So it's it's cool doing the missions, but full on bounty hunting where you're just taking merc ops in there, because those pop in a lot. Those are awfully high ticket. Then the targets wanted in other systems using the scanner for that and then going and get paid out at all the locations because you have to go to those locations first if you go to the primary mission you lose it. that's how it was primarily you couldn't go and get the secondary payouts for the target if you cashed out the primary so that also sucked because i had that happen i was like man this guy's worth a lot in a couple different systems i did the primary and never got any of the secondary so i was like where'd the secondaries go what the frick happened right i was like what glitch or something it was like, no, you couldn't do those second. You had to do those first. Work your way from the bottom, furthest payout, all the way to the main payout of the actual contract. So I was like, well, that sucks. So it was a lot of extra. It really, that had to be your space because of how much extra you had to do. Um, in there, you had to fly so much other things besides the target. It kind of made that the entire space is what it ended up doing. Mechanically, you got a whole range there of stuff you had to do. Because then on the way, they would interdict you. They'd have retaliation for the target being hit, which sometimes happens on the others. So you get a little piece of that in there. But when you're doing full-on Merc, you've got that on your ship module-wise. Oh boy, it's awfully spicy. I wasn't really a high rank on there either when I started doing that. That was a little bit of an off kilter. It'd be better to get your combat rank like mid grade first before you put that as your full on career, we'll say. And did Merc instead of trade or exploration or just straight combat. Doing Merc Ops is like it's its full thing. 
you know? Like, these are military spec ops, like this. This is like, a whole wing should be doing this. This shouldn't just be me in here doing this. But we're checking. Let's see what's up. It's pretty decent payout, so, you know. And this helps the AI, too. Because I don't fly toxic like some of the other ones do. So this will give it some different flight parameters to take a look at. Because I'm really switching it up. Giving it a couple of range. When it does a flight parameter and I counter that flight parameter, I give it a second to process that before I go in and do the next one. I'm not staying too hot on it. Of course, it's nerfing too, so I don't really have a choice. But it gives me time to say, okay, well, they're nerfing. It's like, it's processing. You know, it's trying to crunch the numbers. That didn't work, so now I need to do something else. You kind of think of it like that. And you say, okay, what did I do that triggered it to do this? Because that's what's happening. You're pushing it extra hard, and it has to figure out what line of code is working. It's got a lot of overlap. It's Frontier wanted to give it a range, but didn't understand the range that they gave it. They still do not know their space. Tried to give it a range, which I'm all for, but they did not do them together, we'll say, fluidly. That's why it does that. I want there to be ground combat, but I'm anticipating once they put Thargoids on the ground and Guardians on the ground, we're fighting a Terminator army on the ground, you know, like you do in uh, Helldivers 2 or something like that. That's awfully Thargoid on ground and Guardian on ground combat situation in real time. You can see it in a game space that's already done. Um, that's awfully reflective of what that could look like. Please head directly to Docking Bay 3 There's nobody here but us. Three ships that just popped in. the menu. Let's cash out little Billy here. Little Billy. Okay. Okay. So now... Oh, also, I wanted to check something. Wreckage components. Okay. Debris. Some of that wreckage is useful in determining the cause of the accident. Okay. Should be handed in to whatever organization has called for their collection. Can generate some demand as morbid momentums or simply for scrap. Okay. So wreckage components. When I check that, I'm going to have to see what the deal is. Full range with that. I wanted to commit that to memory there because... I was like, what are they going to do with that? What's their intention with that? Their plan is to possibly use it to identify what happened. So that makes sense. I'm all for that. Or perhaps they're like, oh, that ship we lost, and that was Billy. Whatever. Sure miss Billy. We need that little piece of his ship by our desk or something, like a table weight to remember. It could be the opposing factions, like, go get me a piece of that. I remember when I took that dude out. Your ship is released. You may leave when ready. Leave when ready means... Like, like all of that. Buddy? 
There we go. We're out of here. They're below me. I'm above them. So. I'm already out of the traffic lane, and I can see you've got a lot of ships there now. Loving all that. It's about time. Please don't. You guys are on your own. Some security will keep you safe. Got ten more little pirate boys out here. Past the ring. Past the halfway mark, at least. Like I said, I ran B class shields on this. I should have run the A. And they'd not be able to cut through it as easy. But the problem is, is when they do go down, I can't get them back online as fast. I'm already using a lot of the power supply. I always do it if I don't have at least a decent fingerprint wise on the block for the power distributor, then I gotta go down at least one grade on something. So I gotta fly the ship and find out what that is. If I have to leave a module off, I will. So, um, like I said, in this instance, that tiny little bit I'm missing cargo hatch is just enough to make that happen. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is I could put that secondary booster on slot 3 so it's not robbing me so much power. Which I could do that. That is a thing. I could put the other B on 3 instead of on primary 1. So you can obviously reallocate where that power grid is. Wish you could just map it automatically and have the power grid have more than one power grid set up, just like you can do with the weapon allocation. And that power grid where you could go in and not have to go through and do all that right there. Where you could just hit a button and it do pre-allocate it. So if I did combat, I want this allocation for the power grid. If I'm doing regular flight, I want this. Right? If I'm in um, third option, I want this. And then leave it at that three separate ones. So that'd be great. If you could do that, perfect. That would all be good stuff added in. I don't have that mechanically in there. They didn't even think of that. They have the mechanics to handle it. They just didn't think of it mechanically. It's more menu orchestration, but it can be all grouped together in one little package, and then that would keep it Nice and smooth, it's not boggy on the game. You would hit a button, just like your pips, and it would reallocate. Combat mode, like this. Do this fast. And you'd reallocate your power grid. So if I did this and did analysis mode, I'd have a power grid for that. If I did this, I'd have analysis mode changed over to combat mode, and my power grid would be changed to that. And you could do alternatively the opposite of that, right? When you're doing, like, mining or something else. Lock right into it. Your last time. Perfect. Love all that. That's an easy one. Somebody could start at the beginning of their shift and have that done by the end of the day. Upload that into the servers and done. Wait for every commander to log off and put that in. That's just an easy fix. Just like the menus and stuff on here. Odyssey's menus suck. They take too long and they're not as fast. They're not as optimized as the ones from Legacy. Legacy was way quicker. So when I go on Starport, it takes way too long. So much stuff. It's not general to specific layered. Just like when I go in here and I do this. If I go into this menu here, right? It's layered. Navigation, transactions with their breakdown, the contacts. But what should happen is when I'm right here, right? I'm in this screen. On this mission target thing over on this side, where it says alignment, speed, distance, it should also show in that same instance there 
rest of the data from that other screen, those contacts. It should pick that data up in here. Put that data right in this space, right here. So I could see that right here. I'm on the mission. Where are my contacts? It should say right now, 15 of 25 on the screen that I'm looking at, right here to my left. On the other side of the screen over here where I've got all my other stuff, my tips and everything else, that screen they have on this side would be better if they had a screen that was half the scale of that added above my pips on this end of the ship. Above fuel, above the engine systems and weapons, they need to put a menu that's half the scale, which they already have the mechanics. You need to copy the top half where it says mission target and distance. Take that piece, the top and the bottom of that. Mission target and distance. Move that over to this side and copy it. Mirror flip it. And give me my synthesis allocation over there where I could have my synthesis line. So I don't have to go three menus over to do everything I need to do. Again, and when I'm in combat, what should happen is instead of having to go into those other menus and fart around with targeting things, if I'm targeted to a target, right on this menu it should have the breakdown of that target stuff. I should be able to hit the button, literally, looking over at this menu right here, should pull up a breakdown of that stuff in there. I should be able to scroll where it says alignment through every module they have one by one. Secondarily, I could pull up the longer list and get through it faster because I could see more things in there, right? But on a whim, I could definitely target it over here. And what it should do in that instance is show me both the module itself and the ship with shields. The ship with shields over here should remain the same, and that module should have its own integrity that I'm targeting. So the ship being reallocated in the main HUD, and it, right now it's got a bunch of up and down lines here where the signal is. When the ship is there, it's showing me the breakdown of that module if I target lock the module. And when it gets down to 0%, that's not a reflection of the ship itself. I have to then untarget it, but I can't retarget the total ship. I have to go back into that other menu and fart around. That's all wasted time in combat. There's no way any of that matches combat mechanics. That's all BS. That's not fast enough. In combat, you're not sitting over there and crocheting some socks because that's what that whole thing seems like. You're over there making some new socks. No, that's not fast enough. In combat, you're going to get your ass handed to you doing that. That's why I don't even fart with it. It's too much extra dumb stuff think about it mechanically in layers. That is in the game space. So not only is it a logistical nightmare that you can get fast at over time, it's also a game engine burden because that menu is not optimized. It's not general to specific or where it needs to, so having to open up all that other stuff is more things being a burden on the already burdened instance. So again, see how those layers start to stack up. That over there has nothing to do with the space, but because you're using it for it to do some other action in the space, it becomes another layer of it. Stacking up. It's really bogs it down after a span of time. You're like, the frick is going on? You can bog it down so much where both ships are just sitting there and nothing's really happening. It super sucks. You don't have a lot of good options here. I'm gonna have to go Vulture again. Not too thrilled. Unless. Oh, I gotta go Vulture. I gotta go Vulture. I hate it with these shield things. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a little creative with this missile. I can't quite see where he's got that. So that's alright. Grab the front of my ship already, so obviously we're pissed off. Let's talk in engines. Except for them over here. He's really thinking about what he needs to do here. He's started dogging me already. It's awkward, so. I 
don't need my throttle points. How are you holding the stick instead? Out and see that. Press forward, forward. He was a lot closer, but I don't know. You drove into me. I want to tell you there, and that was funny. Bumper cars, I guess. and I'm on gun detail. I'm awfully nervous. What to do? Get me into position. Doing good so far. I should be good. Hold on. Goodbye, Ganker Cooper. Good riddance. 16. Back to get more ammo. Back. One menu. Good dock at that place there. That's a good. We're awfully close to that one, huh? O'Neill is way down here, two thousand. You see. only 10. Let's go here. Then we don't have to fly back so far. This one's close. Oh, sorry Jefferson. There you go. Have at her, buddy. There you go. And I got four boosters on here. If I take the two Bs off, right, it's not as enforced, we'll say. Because two Bs don't equal an A, they equal more than an A. It's like an A++, more or less. If I put the A on and take off both of the Bs, it's less brunt force trauma will drop it instantly. You can't handle it. But pissing bullets on it, it's, it's not going to happen. Little pew pew lasers, no good. Can't cut through will be on all day. Because I got the stagger step in the D class on. I needed to C, but they didn't have. So I got no option. I had to go with B. Usually I go B, C, right? A, B, C, and then D is the booster on here. And it's the maximum stagger step that you can do. Because all those layers then just help the next layer build. And as it reduces, it's going down in layers, but the power grid for those are maintained, so it's harder for them to get each layer down individually. The larger layers do draw power, but you can um, quick hop in the menu, more or less, and then make the change. You just reallocate from power grid 2 to 3, or do it ahead of time. What I do is I do it ahead of time. I'll take the most powerful shield layer, and I won't put that one in the, in the priority. Okay. Three. Because that way, once it goes down, I only have it up for its initial, and then I don't care after. You can also do it in pits if you move it over. Once the shield layer goes down, it won't try recharging it. But with the cargo hatch off, the grid still has that low-grade saturation coming through. It'll still try charging it up, which is pretty good. All right, three. Is that three? What is that one? Two. It must be on the other side. 
That one's two. Where's three? Here? Fly around these lights. These are pretty cool landing pads. There's one that had some also pretty cool looking ones. I don't remember what base set up that was. I think it was a military one. It had some pretty decent ones. They weren't too bad. I'll have to look in the pilot logs. Like I said, I'm trying to get all the good stuff. Be like, okay, all these wireframes, let's pull them all out of the imagery now and then. So I write down what base it is too. And we'll piece them all together, pull them out, use all those ones, because, like I said, existing wireframe, why not? You got it. It's already done. Use those to do our base building stuff, right? Be like, these are the ones we need to build a badass base with it. These outposts are pretty much right on point for that. They're probably by far the best. These outposts, these, these ones here. The planetary ones that they got kind of specific, but there is a few things on there we could use for our own little base build stuff. So we want to make some uh, bases for the players, modularize it, make it pretty badass. Uh, we got to do some different stuff. Scab some parts. Show me. Where's our boys? Awfully close. Love. So as long as that thing is in good rotation around here, we'll pick it up and be able to use it. Sorry. Let's check our numbers. 16 to 25. Back in it. Those are time. Her. Doing great for time. Great for time and great for kill count. Let's check the, um, what do we got here? 17 hours. That's it. Ways away. I'm gonna check it too. Yeah, frick. It was cold out there today. And that wind was way below zero for sure. It was face peeling weather. I'll say that. I had multiple layers of clothes on. Actually, should have wore the other jacket, but I should have done. 
it was even cut through the thermals for sure. That sucked. I didn't have to be out of the car for too much. So that worked out. signal sources out of here too. This spot here is maybe pretty decent, we'll say. I'll add it on my list. Blotter's the best as far as the signal sources go. Pretty much get everything you need there, right straight through. This one here is spread out quite a lot, but it does have a decent range. So in a pinch, you could fly around a lot and get what you need here. If for some reason you did all of them at Blotter and nothing else popped in, you could come over here and grab some. There's not a lot of systems that have as many as these 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 two. Blotter and this one have, it's pretty close. They do have quite a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. A lot of pirate activity here though, that's why. Buggers are in here. Doing their thing, let's say. Now we're within the range here. Now this is. It was trying to do a fly right past it kind of situation there. It's chill now. You got the gravity of the planet right next to me. Dark as heck, but it's there. It's set. We'll keep cruising. Cruising, cruising. The water's not very cold. So. Yeah, once we get this one done, we got a couple other little things to do on here, and then we can go do our exploration stuff after. On this one, we'll have to go and get synthesis. That'll be our, our last thing. On the other account, we're already way deep space. We're way at the top of the galaxy, way the frick out. We're right next to another sector. Really, we can, we've already crossed three sectors out there. Galactic space sectors. We're way over. I'm gonna have to fly back. We gotta finish taking a look at that nap. That's the last nebula that's on the list. Once we check that one, the other ones are too far over and I don't wanna tamper with those because I didn't scan a single planet in those sectors at all. There really isn't a whole lot of commander activity in those either. So it's gonna be everything we touch in there is gonna be payout in that instance. I would like to fly all the way back, um, which we can do pretty quick. We can get back to civilized space towards Colonial Way will be the closest. And what I want to do is see what sort of things they've got happening there in those couple of systems that I had marked on the map. And then we'll leave. Take the long haul and fly all the way back to the bubble, even though I don't want to. Fly back to the bubble. And I'll finish climbing the ranks so I can unlock the Federal Corvette, because I need the Federal Corvette for some projects on the side. So I'll fly back and I'll do the rank grind and finish that. But you can't really do it by Colonia. There's not really a whole lot there to make that happen. You can do some, but it's not as fast as you can do it in the bubble, so I'd have to go back. I don't really care about increasing Empire rank, uh, unlocking ships. I don't mind the rank increase, but the ships unlock is not of interest. I don't like the last couple of ships. So, but Federation one, I need the Federal Corvette. So I want, I want to do some other instances, but I don't want to tamper with it too much. So I need to take something chunky. We're also going to get the Type 10 and the Type 9. I need both. 
looked at it earlier today and I said, do I need both or can I get away with just one? And I actually, I'm going to need the Type 10 for later. Because I'm not going to take the Chieftain or any of those other Alliance ships. I don't have an interest in any of the Alliance ships at all. No, nothing. Unless they somehow added some other stuff. I don't like those ships. Based like a Diamondback Explorer with, you know, turtle arms is what it is. So I don't really like them. Wish they'd hurry up and get the rest of those three ships that they had. Instead of the frigate, give me those other ones. I want to get one of those other ships. Science vessel one, or the mining one, and turn it into a merc ship, or that actual merc ship. I want one of those. I want to be able to fly it around in space, too. Not like the frigate. I want it to fly. I want to take that and be in the pilot seat of that and flying that around. Instead of my ship, I want to fly that big thing around. So that... That is what they need to hurry up and get done. Not this other stuff they've been doing in the space. Finish the other things that they already had in motion. Unlock them. I don't want loanership. I want ownership. This BS. Ships already cost enough to upkeep. You just shouldn't have to go in there and do all that other crap. Too much. Then go and do some serious exploration way out. Got a couple of spaces I really want to take a look at. But I need something. I got this little extra minute. Installed me out. This is the ship that we want to wait this off. Come here. Got a defense up there. I can see it. It's high now. Gotta get away from these boys. We gotta pull this guy out of here. We risk keep flying with them. On this side. my line would have put me where I needed to be so it doesn't let us. That's okay. Knows I have target player. I can just imagine what it sounds like here. Listening to it say missile back. Literally put my brakes in. It thinks I'm gonna shoot a missile, but it does that. I won't. I wait. Make him be risky. Do it where I know there's no chance at the speed he's traveling. See, he has to fly slower, he knows he's got it now can't fly like that ripping through there because it's a plane. Well, let me do it. Could have pulled a hard curve. It's having me off of hard. It's alright. Starboard. Lateral. Keep going. Hold the line. Target 
hundred percent, you bastard. Take that. I'm still at twelve percent shields. Yeah. Good. It was trying, but it wasn't able to do much. Grabbed the front of my ship on a couple of maneuvers, but that was about it. Couldn't do much else. Tried stopping me. But we're making it think faster. We've been in enough instances with it where the AI is starting to pick up on it. So it's getting better. It's doing better. It's definitely starting to fly some actual lines. So I could actually pull back into that space. Be risky. I didn't use too much. Eh. My best. Safe. Safe first. Safety first. Fly dumb. Go back and get some routes. I could do it. Definitely. Could go back in there and go for it, but we'll do this. Be smart. Let's go back. Let's more points. We're fine, but we're short changing. Put the pressure on after. Keep to our routine. Because what'll happen is all of a sudden you run out, right? Or the modules take it too much. I think it held its own through that whole thing. Let me check. Let me see how good we were. It's everything literally. Yeah, everything literally. So he couldn't get a beat on us at all. I literally screwed him over so bad. He went to do that first maneuver and I waited perfectly. Literally waited and did nothing else and then hit him with that first missile. He knew right then I can't fly that speed. So that screwed him up, because the next attack maneuver, he went to boost through it, and he went, I can't. Because he knew that was definitely going to close that gap. Ooh, the missile. Sure. Yeah. So then he had a circle around, and I had already moved into a counter position. And I was flying casual, waiting for Jefferson, right? He's on flat cannon. That's his job. Takes care of flat cannon. So he was doing his thing, and, and we come around, I waited. And it said missile lock, and it's beeping. And you know on the inside of the ship when you got missile lock what it sounds like. It's flashing lights, it's missile like missile lock. And he doesn't know if I'm shooting or not. I don't. I just let that chaos come through his ears quite a few times. Leave it like that. Because I can shoot the missiles out of the sky with multi-cannons. That accurate as a pilot. But I gotta do some work to make that happen. I gotta switch targets, click, click, bang, bang, pop the missiles, and keep on going. So I don't need missile turret defense to get rid of the missiles, but I can't rotate the ship then if I do that because I'm using too much power to target lock that small of an object. It's really sucking the target lock system to do that. Can do it. It's just, it's a lot on the target locking system. I agree. Mechanically accurate. I got to focus on something that's so damn small coming at me directly that's needs to be destroyed promptly. There's a lot of pressure there on oopsies, we'll say. Then I have to relock the target itself that I'm actually having combat with and get back on it in enough time to be able to fire the weapons. I have to be quick. It's like, literally like that and I can't screw up. Bang, pop, back into it. Or you're screwed, right? There's no chance. If you do it wrong, you missed. Now I can just saturate the location, I've done that too, without target locking the missiles and just peel the weapons across. Just shoot them right across to catch them in the wake. But I have to have more multi-cannons to really pull that off super good. I gotta be running more than what I got. I need that other row, because I gotta have top deck, mid deck, and bottom deck to saturate it well and good enough where I can just move my ship and try to pop it out of the sky prop. That's the most effective, that's the most combat way that I set up the ship because then I can handle most of the combat outside of missions. If I'm just doing nav beacon, whatever, targets on stuff, no problem. But in these, ooh, it's a bit of a push. Better to just stick with the guns, rotate the ship, ricochet some off, clang them. I've, I've football shoulder shrugged them off. But you got to do it just right. I got to get the back of it. I can't touch the front or it will pop. I do have some decent defense. On here, you go into your ship on here. Um, you can see your layout on here. Like on this, I got 42% for kinetic, 52 for explosive, right? It's pretty damn good. Thermal resistance, 14, right? It's not as great. I, I had to risk it for that. Armor rating's 52. Okay, armor health, 1900. 
thermal resistance 6.8, explosive 30%, and kinetic 11. So we got some different stuff happening, right? It's definitely layered in. We go back to that menu for a sec, switch us back to our modules, in case I need to. Go back to our cargo hatch situation here. And really, do I still have the fuel scoop on this? Or I might have took it off. No, I took it off. Yeah. So I just need this quick menu exit. In case I find something good I want to scoop up, I got to be quick. In the module and out of the module. So yeah, this you can play around with the numbers in there. Probably going to do... Because I have... The, the ship itself has pretty decent setup. I might end up doing the reinforced hull. Do a little bit of mods to that. See if there's a way I might be able to get the bye week. Got to do some shopping around. I would like to switch the shields to a bye week. I don't know if they go up that high. Have to see. Because I got my shields in six slot. I don't mind swapping that if the bye weave I can max it out and it can still cover the hull of the ship. Because I need it to be able to cover the mass. So when you're doing a shield, you can. Do it in different layers. There's all the different slots. You can actually take and move it up and down and see how that covers the ship. It'll say optimized when you're at the exact right amount. You can go above that, over optimize it, and have more than enough shields to cover the layer, which creates a buffer zone in there. You'll watch your numbers. On the other side there, then you'll start to get a buffer in those numbers, which you see. If you go above and beyond. You can go optimized and meet the hull's requirement to be shields are enough power-wise to cover the outside of the ship. You can be too low and it doesn't cover the ship very good, which what happens with that is you start losing shield layers. Instead of having three, you might only have two. Instead of having two, you might only have one. Because the other shield layers are actually in the ship because they're too low. It doesn't have enough output range to extend to the mass of the ship, the exterior of the ship itself. So again, you got to play around with the numbers. Different ship setups, you can do different stuff. You don't need to do top slot on everything. You can you can go down in there. A military grade slots definitely got more optimization than another slot. So popping a shield in military grade slot, you got a different type of shield set in there than just a civilian slot more or less. So that also changes it. There's different mechanics in the background besides the modules that the game is using as you're allocating out those in that space. That layering is how the ship's layered. Like my layers for my hull reinforcement and module reinforcement, I tried all different combinations and put it specifically in a location so I could see what is that protecting? What is it covering in that slot? Where is that slot located, right? So you could see exactly what it is that that particular slot is actually protected. You can see what the shields are being put to. So you can say, do I want module reinforcement there or do I want hull reinforcement there? Maybe there's two slots by the same thing and you're like, I need to stagger this. Hull and module or I need to put two hull reinforcements here or two module reinforcements here depending on what it is, right? So you move them around accordingly to that. There's some ships where I had to put the module reinforcement up top, not because it's a bigger slot, because what it was actually shielding where that slot is located on the ship was important. So, like I said, there's a full range to the ship itself. you got to look at things a little different. It's not just, okay, slot 5, slot 4, there's more to it than that mechanic. Gotta get closer. Can't get in. Menu won't work. I had it up combat too good. We're stuck with the menu lock again. I can't move the menu option. Hold on. So while little Billy's doing his thing, we'll have to hop out. Hop back in. Not much I can do. Oh well. I need access to the spaceport. The menu's right there, but if I can't use it, I can't use it. Incoming 
So that means I gotta remap where those guys are again. So we gotta remember that. I also gotta go in and reallocate all my modules back to their slots because it's been resetting that completely back to zero. So that's super dumb. Go through all of our menus. Looks like we're good. Let's a little closer. Casual. ships okay. It's all you, little Billy. While you're doing your thing, I'll back up over here in my little safe spot. Right over here. That's good. Right out of mass. That's all you wait for. As long as you're out of mass lock, you're out of the range of the base, then you don't have to worry about them being fussy. So while they're doing their thing... Okay, this guy's worth 200, so that's pretty good. Our numbers are at, now, 17 of 25, so we're good there. Wait. Doke. Moving in. Now our mass slot. Where is it? It's missing some other pieces to this right now. So. Still glitching in this little spot here. Landing gear deployed. Yeah, it's just me and you, Jeffersons. Base is empty. That's what it sounds like. Nothing else is really happening. There's about 50% of the mechanics for this exact location that aren't working. This is on there. Primary ones that I need are. Mission success. Zero damage. All right. Catch me out on little Billy here. Put some white eyes on you there, lady. What's going on there? She's like, what? Did you kill that guy? No, didn't yet. Working on some pirates first. All right. Scratches. Exit. Launch me. Back to the pirates. Windling them down. And we'll reallocate everything. Go back in and redo all these. They moved them. Cargo hatch three. We're looking good through here. Take this B. Two. Looking good. Two, two. Her, her, her. All right, back to my little cargo hatch. Fire groups unchanged. Good. So we got one thing we got to do. Oh. Oh. Alright. Let's 
spectrum. Pocket. Scan me. Alright. There's our little dudes. Right outside the asteroid ring. Okay. Over there by their little anchor griefer vessel. Right next to the little purple planet. We're cruising. There I am. Chilling. What in the passenger seat? Wish you could hire on a crew member. Right. Put them in that seat. Have them be active and run guns and stuff. Sign them up to some guns. Be like, you work this one. That'd be cool. They could be talking and stuff on comms besides Jefferson, too. Also be good. Like I said, they definitely could do that. Have a little come on in and talk into the microphone day for pretty much every person walking by. Pay them 25 bucks and. Give them some donuts and snack stuff there and be like, hang out for a bit or whatever. Or somebody could be doing chit chat, whatever. Other people could be doing recording as far as that goes and have all kinds of cool ass automated voices in space. Every single thing. Piece of cake. How's our time? Looking good. How's our time for our mission? Probably pretty good. What are we looking? 16 hours. 20 hours for a terrorist situation. Hmm. Yeah. We got enough time. How many dudes is left? Something good here. 17 to 25. Yeah, there's a stream from yesterday where the it lost the connection to OBS there somehow. We were still streaming, but the Frontier OBS connection wasn't working, however the hell that happened. So, it didn't link the game over to the OBS. Whatever happened there. So I had to shut it back down and then turn it back on and got it back up. I couldn't go in there and edit that out, that little six minutes or whatever of it not connecting in there properly. Couldn't really do much with that. The, the stream was just a squeeze too long past the window to do the edit for that only issue. And it was just that. So. But I checked, there's no update in OBS. So that's something on there and just a little hiccup that happened. Minor code problem there. So it's an easy fix. Might have already uh, corrected itself because usually they got some AI assist with most of that stuff. So it might have already fixed itself. 
didn't pop back up today at all. I had a lot of instances in which that could have triggered, but it didn't. So we're just dealing with this combat situation. Nothing else. It didn't seem to be doing else work. And I did a couple of, um, it was a little bit, you know, nav beacon, it does its normal. The range was always measurable. Those mission ones are awfully tricky. I had to fly around and do those missions to get those, obviously, the military factions on board with this whole thing, just in case. So the reason why is once we get done with this, for these guys are going to be pissed. They're going to be so pissed, they're going to send out strike contracts against my ass. So then I got to deal with that while Mr. Clay goes, oh, thanks for getting out of my space. It's like, yeah, I need some backup. They're sending some big ass ships after me now, because they will eventually. So there's a couple star ports I want to fly to. Let's see. I need a hundred and we'll just say two hundred thousand. We'll say two hundred thousand. Yeah, two hundred thousand. That's what I'm gonna need for sure. Wonder how much. Be twenty five. How much is a little JP there? Not much, right? Just doing it for the win. So we're gonna get nothing taking him out, but the influence goes to the max. So we're doing that mission like that. We're not going to get anything from him except covering the bullets, more or less. That's our problem there. It's fun. It's false thinking. Good there. Let's check my menu. Take a peek. So right now I got 33. We're going to get 25, so that's 50. A little bit extra, we'll say 60. So I still need 144. I can get 20 or so from the one ship, 20 or so from the other, that's 40. Still leaves me with another 20. So we're still going to have to go do some stuff. So we'll leave it. Won't touch currency bucks. No new stuff. Gotta wait. So we'll go and clean up whatever other spots we can. Probably check those other systems to see if there's any riffraff left from Crimson Mafia, and we'll go in there and hot them up right on their own turf. Clean that all up, but we won't bring those mission targets back here. We'll actually take those mission target bounties over to Black Hide, give them to the Dweller, so that he can cash them out. See, I was going to do that with all these, but I'm not going to fly around with what would be several million in credits. Because that just makes these pirates a little too antsy when I pop in there. Got to be running with enough to get one of them to have a problem and identify themselves, right, from the tactic. Because then we know which ship is the one in charge. Because they get so excited, they hit the scan on it, right? We know that's a glitch right now. So we're capitalizing on the glitch. Because they didn't fix it, we're using it. So whatever ship does that is the primary ship. Until they fix it. After they fix it, we'll have to see which ship peels away from it, which it still does, even with the glitch going on. The ship that's farthest away from that cluster of little dudes, that's the one that we need to go after. Because that one is the most impactful to the instant. Otherwise, you've got all those ships you've got to deal with. That's usually what happens. You don't want that. Too many ships. All right, we're back in. Stuck with sucky ones. So we're going after this guy. He's came way over. Took a scrappy target to this one. Alright. Just gotta get him away from these other guys. Definitely pulling away. Back on his front door. Pass. Yeah, zero nerve. Hot in. Still good. Okay, there's missile turret defense. It still took damage because I went. Wings. 
good there, Jefferson. Even you add it, buddy. Hard. Back to his basics. Got 44 now. Peel it down, we're gonna be able to put it. Flying awfully inside. Look at that target. Paying attention. Released it. Got a vulnerable ship. Nerfing me too bad because I can't pull the ship around. Even though he's at eight, I got no choice because he'll cut through that last layer and he'll pop us. So we're at the end. I don't have any hull reinforcement after 30%. So that's it. He could literally get to the module without it. Jefferson can't pull shields up fast enough. So he was done, but I couldn't. It's too risky. I won't lose the ship or refuse. It's nerfed it. Look at this how slow it is right now. It's nerfed it so low that I can't pull my maneuvers off. It's negated all the capacity to pull any maneuvers. I can't bank, I can't boost, and I can't rotate the ship. So when I can't do that, I'm flying useless. It's like I'm sitting there on the front porch throwing rocks at it. It's not good enough. I need to be able to fly. I need to be able to move. So there we go. Got my ship back, I can move again. This, I couldn't move. So that's no good. Can't have that. That won't work. So we'll just round to it. He was done, but risky. I could have clipped him at 8%, but I would have been at 15, and if I wouldn't have got him completely perfect, he would have turned around and one thermal laser would have cut through the hull. I don't have enough there. 30 is pushing it. Under 30? Risky. I've taken it down to 3% in combat, but not being nerfed. Not mission-wise. I absolutely refuse. So, time to go. It let me go because it couldn't hold me any longer. It hadn't used so much nerfing, it was beyond all. So there's nothing it could do. Could have killed it, but risky. If I would have stayed, I most likely would have lost. He would have popped one of the modules. Let me see what modules that he had blasted up pretty good. So let's see. Across the saturation, the only modules he was blasting hard, because they're all hurting pretty good. He's getting the module reinforcement packages. See how he's cut through them? He was taking them down one at a time. So all that damage was through there. I still had all power on everything else. was all good. He was taking out the module reinforcements. Exactly. He was cutting a hole through all the module reinforcements so we could get to the power distributor. So that's no. Because if he hits the engine or clips the fuel cell in there, that's why, again, it's only an 8. So less explosion. 
If I got a 32 in there, he would have hit it already. 16, he was awfully close. Flying around, just in case of being fallen in. I know he can't hold it. Clear the code, because that's what that does. I'm in gravity there. I got my ship back. So you can see it's flying already. So I got my ship back. So clear that instance. If he was following, he just lost me. Gravity. He's missing. So a little risky. Too risky. That's all right. It's peeled us down module-wise. Reinforcement. Didn't touch a single thing inside. We're good. No gun damage, no nothing. Not quite an accurate reflection of the space for the ship. Because taking down those two there isn't 28% of my ship's capacity. So it's a little bit of a lie. Yes, he could get through. But all the rest of the layers inside there are at 100%. Minus the couple little bumps in there from the rounds on the outside. 97%. That's not. Those aren't primaries, but they are definitely connected. They're awfully close to some important stuff. So, risky. Awfully risky. I prefer 28% to be holes in everything and they're all dangerously low. You screwing up, doing his other thing. 8%. And I was flying without it actually glitching too bad on there until after he realized what I was doing. I was trying to eliminate his front tanking he was doing. So he would have rammed us. That's what he would have done. He would have waited and then he would have rammed us. Finish us off that way. So, good luck, little Billy. I don't think so. That's briefer flight maneuvers there. We have prepared for your arrival on pad 3-7. 3 -7. No one else here. So this is all us. Billy on the pipe there, I'll let him go in. Sneak around him. Get in there. Right, get in. Right behind you. Attention, Commander. Imperial protocols require that you reduce your speed. My speed is reduced. How slow do you want me to go? This slow? Is this good for you? Just like this? Because I'm not flying like that, so you can kiss my ass. Game's bad. 1,000 meters from touchdown. Yeah. I'm flying past this too. You want to get pissy about that? Don't worry. I'm going to take out all the rest of your ships. The Stellar Forge. Flying awfully toxic. So let me put some more rounds in my ship here. So that I'm ready. Disposal, huh? Uncoupling sequence complete. You may leave when ready. Well, I'm leaving right now. Apparently. Going down inside there so that I could, uh, you know, tackle the rest, but it's fine. I'm leaving, I guess. Goodbye. I'm at the speed you enjoy. No guarantee I'm going to keep it that way. Reaper plot. Ah, oh, it's done. Let's okay. play spicy. It's alright. We can do that again. 
right here. On our way. Go back and knock on their door again. I could ditch the military grade reinforcement for the uh, B class, which can handle more brunt force trauma. It's a little more reinforced as well, even though it's not. As far as the game's concerned, it actually is. It can definitely handle more. It doesn't get bypassed as easily, we'll say, with what they've been using round wise. Do get some resistances with the A that you don't get with the B, but overall the B is actually a little bit better. It's a little more durable, we'll say, physically. Doesn't have as many resistances, but it's definitely durable. That's what I got on the Betty. Just ended up switching up the military grade panels to the um, B class. It seems to work pretty good. She hasn't had any issues so far. So we're good there. But there's a couple other little things we're going to do to this one. We're going to tweak this one the rest of the way out. We only had about 30,000 to start with on here. Really too much. I didn't do a whole lot in Odyssey here. It's, like I said, it kind of was a fresh restart on here. Last year when I came from the PlayStation, as soon as Odyssey came out, I kind of hopped over here and made this one. and was only in here for a very short period of time. Not much. Just enough. I kind of sped run it a little bit because I was in a hurry. So I hopped over here and I did some other stuff. Um, just checking. I wanted to look at the space more or less than be in it, be here permanently. I was just in here seeing what it was capable of doing and where they were at mechanically and where they were going to need to get. Then I left it because obviously it needed some work. Wasn't ready yet, so I waited. Wasn't going to go in there and do all that. So I went back, played Horizon's Legacy, stayed in there. Still in there. Don't plan on leaving now. It's... We're climbing there, doing our thing. Not, not leaving that one. Way more time in that one. I got it. This one. PlayStation 1's a loss, a scrub. I got so many hours in that one, but... Climbing the ranks on the PlayStation, we were on there since the game came out. Still wasn't even anywhere close to the ranks we got on the computer. Like, not even close. It took us forever to get to the ranks. That took us like a couple of weeks on the computer. It took us years on the PlayStation to climb. So I don't know what the frick was going on there. We didn't do anything different. We still did all the same stuff. So I don't know. And that was like the fourth or fifth reset for the PlayStation. Because I played the game through to Elite level quite a few times. So... Let's peel over this way. Make him follow us. I want a little more room. Eliminate those guys out of the instance. Let's make him follow. I don't mind if he's shooting at us. And I'll reposition. Give us a little more room to work. Out over here. We can get him on a starboard pass. He'll come around. He'll get him behind us.
grab the front of my ship, do that, put it in right over here. Awful lot of trap. Collateral. My boost. Good job for some work on our shields. Go on my ship. Up the long range shoot. Reload. Looking at the close call. Gotta be perfect on the timing here, Jefferson. That little pricker put the thing right on the front. Nice target. Way over there. Just wait. Just wait. It's targeting well. Targeting everything. Bye. You won't let me prepare him, so there's no point. So that's the second time, second dude that I gotta start over from the beginning. I refuse to target modules, it's not happening. I don't fly like that. So bye bye to him. Go back to. Well, we're off. Wait. Or no. We can't go all the way back to the other base. We'll do that. Fly back over there. So fly back, get more bullets. We we'll put shields back on line, Jefferson. Yeah, because you waste too much time. You know, they do it, the AI has the capacity to do it, but you sit there and fret around with that, that's 100 on that one. Now you gotta do 100 on the next one. Then 100 on the next one, and 100 on the next one. You, you, instead of doing 100%, which is what you're dealing with here, between the shields and the ship, you're dealing with 100 for every single one of those modules in there. So you just exponentially increase the capacity of that ship, farting around with it like that. It's not working. It's stupid. So it's going to be doing that. That's the second time around now that it's done. BS. So that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Let's line this up at the front, because I hate flying around it. It's annoying. It makes you fly so damn slow. I feel like flying around it that slow. Fly into the front. It's making missiles target super slow too. It's literally nerfing them specifically. It's not even touching the guns, and it wasn't touching the ship too much. It definitely grabbed the hold of the front of the ship several times. Wouldn't let it go. Literally stopped. But then it started getting risky because its shield layer it was really pissed that I was taking it down. So that tells me it knew. That shield layer is gone, it's not reinforced. It has not reinforced its ships. The only time we ran into reinforced ships was the initial combat we had with them faction-wise. Did they have ships that were reinforced? That was a bit of work to get their shield layers down. And the reinforcement we had to cut through. But we definitely took them out. 
That was the initial. They were really pissed about that. But they didn't come back into that system again. They just refused to go in. They didn't bring a single one in. They had to go outlying systems to find them. They were definitely spicy out there, taking out their frustrations on that sector. So we had to do some assists around, bring some more enforcements in so that took that out, no problem. So this little piece of our little problem here is going to be pain in the ass. 17. <sighs> Annoying. Here, second ago. Literally. Cool. I have no menus again. Won't let me do anything. I can't access any of the menus. So now I have to do this whole freaking thing again. Which I hate. You fly faster in reverse than you do going forward. Are you done? Got nothing. It won't let me do the menus. Frickin' Odyssey. Boy, it's a mess. There's more glitches on Odyssey in a single cycle of trying to accomplish what you need to do than anything else. I tell you, it's just ridiculous. I'm just making sure the menus work before I do it or I would have just booted right back up. So prepare yourself. I'm within range as your menu dictates. Now that I have access to them. Your I could have done that the first time I came through, but you didn't give me any menu options. I could do nothing. I got zero scrolling capability. Because of all the dumb, it had nerfed so much that it actually bogged the basics in the game. Locked me out. Couldn't do any of them. We know what those menus are tied to mechanically. Clearly. That's what it was doing. We had all kinds of problems. We're 11. By the door. Landing gear deployed. We are pleased to offer a wide range of facilities of unparalleled quality. All right, in position. No odd glitches here. Juice me up. Me down. Touchdown confirmed. You may alight when ready. The Imperial Flight Operations Bureau welcomes you to this facility, Commander. Yep. Alright. Let's take a look. Curious if they have a C, but I'm hoping they do. I don't remember, but we'll find out. Nope. But I do have my A here. Could swap out the B for the A. Pushes the power grid up a little higher, and I'm going to lose that one action. I won't be able to do that once it gets too spicy. Yeah. 
Way on the bottom. Alternatively, could I get away with four? Might be able to. That'd be a risk. Six would be better, but I don't know. I don't know about that. He was cutting through these. Working his way in. Little bastard. I'm at 16. Could I sack a little bit? Gives me 260. Two sixty. These would give me one ninety. risky. These are only grade two at this point. don't have one small enough for the stops that free. So because of how they have their layout here, that's all I could do. I couldn't really arrange it how I usually do, so I'm missing the arrangement. Because usually I put a module reinforcement in the slot three, but they don't have it. Sucks. That's too bad. Need to take that off because then that restricts it. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Can't really rearrange this any different. The only other thing I could do is if my mana core cannon, I could swap to the mana core cannon, and that adds a little more thump. But I lose the overall. Because they're moving awfully quick, the mana core would have to be fixed. I need it to stay forward. I couldn't go turreted with it because I need to make it lined up, go gimbaled more or less, lock it in be able to run turreted. I've run turreted on here and I could definitely make it happen. The two mana cores on here will work, but not in a mission. They nerf too much, so it'd be too risky. Fragment cannon is working, the missiles are working. It's just a bit of a push. Just have to keep keep on it, I guess. It's really our only option. Can't really change it up too much. We gotta redo everything we did again, basically. I'm gonna have to rescan the system. Every time I gotta log out, I gotta go back in. I'll have to reallocate the modules again. They didn't keep them. Could have been two pirates down. I've already done the work for it. But game BS, and I gotta do them again. Again, 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 again. It's super freaking annoying. Boy, I hate it so much. But, hey, you know, do what you gotta do. Alright. While you're flying there, Jefferson, keep it on point. I gotta fix all this. 
We're looking good here. Cargo hatch is off still. Great. Support system, I'll put that on three because I don't need that on one. Field booster B. That's good. We're looking good there. Ramship drives on one, of course. Field booster. Two, two, two. Need anything else? We gotta get out of here. Since we get in here, what I gotta do is I gotta pull up the spectral analysis, rescan for them, remark them again, and wipe their. Redo this. Back over here. A lot of gunfire. Jeez, peace. Ripping this place to pieces. Missions. 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 A lot. Blasting it up. All right. Show me. We did a little bit tankier on shields, but not brunt force. So we have to make sure at range we keep an eye on it. Again, it's going to be longer to power it back up because of the A. So that's what it is. But what do you do? Let's see what we can peel away from this. 4 a.m. How's our time? Fifteen hours. Should be two more down right now. Be I'd be happier with that. Plugging away at, but it's fine. Back at safety first. He's trying. Not for sure. It'd be great if they did. Because then I got back up. Speed that up. They know that, though. Risky.
Flying, 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 all this flying. Lotter better be happy for this. This is a lot of work. I'll tell you that. Director Clay considers it a personal favorite. So, yeah, I can imagine his crew trying to take care of it. Doing this ain't happening for them. I'll tell you that. Doesn't have enough military spec boys in there to handle this. It'd get blasted to pieces. This would be one of those conflict zones, what this would be. They'd be in there trying to blast it up with the ships that they got. Not there. We gotta restore that balance back, because they they literally are even losing some of the stuff that they actually sell there, because the player faction in there doesn't have a clue what the hell they're doing. They're ruining the navigation of trade and travel through the entire area, because whatever the frick they're trying to do, I don't know what they're trying to do. Destroy the space. They're doing pretty good at it could be uh, their ideas to go in there and ruin it for everybody else. Because that's definitely what they're doing. Exploitation of the, the game. It's a hot mess there. They're definitely not making it better. Making it worse. Mission objective detected. Of their jumpers. That's on you, Billy. I don't want to flip through it. Piss off, Python. Get the frick out of here, bastard. I'm busy. Time for you. Gotta be careful, Jefferson. Apple, buddy. No, we wait. delay. More than enough room, but right on the edge of it. It's not enough for it to fly through there, but it's not hot enough. 
one bit more spicy. I've left the center part easily, because you can do that from the planet, a lot of the gravitational pull, I mean, so definitely can. Won't cook it past 64, so we're fine there. All right. Done. Let's go back. Reload up. So, got to leave the shields like that. This little next wave here is a little more spicy. B isn't quite enough percent-wise initially. Couldn't get it down. But see, that saved us on our hull. Zero. Let me check modules and see if a little prick's tried cutting through. Doesn't look like it. No, see, he couldn't. Couldn't get in. So, I was on him too much initially that he had to redirect. So that's okay. That's kind of the idea. The A class is awfully brunt. He was trying and he'd seen he wasn't getting through. After he went and checked the modules, because that's what that delay was. Was it checking the modules on my ship? It was locked right to me, checking the modules. What that ended up doing was bog the game down, slow it down while he's looking. It was like, pause, let me see. You know, that's kind of what it feels like. So, okay, he's not doing anything during that time. I'm fine with it. We're both slow. He's looking and seeing what I got. It's fine. I already know his ship, so I don't have to worry about it. Blew the ship about as many hours as I flew any other one, secondary. So, lots of time, no problem. So, this one, on the other hand, I've got far more. So we're coming back, 100, 100, nothing. I had to really pull it. I had to bank really oddly in there, this stupid trajectory he was trying to fly. Waited, figured out where his missile turret defense was, and then shot afterwards. Was hoping it was the vulture again. So we got enough combat time with these instances with the Mark III. So that's not too much of an issue. Vulture is the next little problem child in there. I can cut through them most of the time, but there's a couple of them that come in there and they're stagger stuff in their stuff and they've got some extra weapons in there and I play around with that. See, the Vulture is really a badass, but not with large weapons. You have to put medium class and you never run low of power. They just keep shooting, which is what he was doing. He wasn't running large class on there, but he kept switching the loadout. That's the part that pisses me off. When he's got it like that and he's all set, and there's no reason to be going in there and doing cheatsy doodle. He's got it, so he's fine. If he's not all set, obviously, and sure, I don't mind. Change up your weapons, even though you're now near to be able to do that. So change your two hard points to two other hard points. Go for it. But if he's optimized in there, then frick you, you cheating bastard. Fly with what you got. You already made your decision. If I have got you, I've got you in that instance. So, but if it doesn't, that's fine. I don't mind. Change it up. One ship changes module allocation like six or seven times in there. So how many guns has this thing got? 10, 20? It's shot all the different kinds of guns. But that's okay. It wasn't flying too great. It was just annoying how many different times it was changing guns, because I'm flying my flight parameter to counter the weapons that he's using against me. Then he uses different guns, and I was like, where the fuck did those guns come from? <laughs> After we run through all the different allocations, I was like, alright, now you're you're past how many gun slots you got. Yeah. You don't have 15 guns on there, so let's not do that anymore. Frontier needs to go in there at least, at minimum, set the limit for what they and can allocate it out to random. Your choice is, if you have four hard points on there, you've got four attempts. That's it. After that, that's a little much. At least cap it at that. That would be fine. It's still dumb, because obviously you can't change what loadout you got on your ship in the middle of combat. But, the AI needs all the help it can get in that instance, so that's fine. It's, clearly it's a higher rank than me. I don't, I don't know where we're set. Let me check that. What, what is our rank right now? Combat rank says competent. Ain't no way I'm flying like competent, that's for damn sure. But that's okay. So that's an understatement to what we're currently actually flying like. These ain't competent class flight maneuvers, we'll say that. Pulling off some different stuff, but... The poor AI is trying to get it. Wait, 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 wait. We got a good, uh, got a good one here. Hang tight. I'm all for this one. We caught this one just right. Frick me. Take that. Screenshot. Put that on the wallpaper. That's a nice one. Caught that one. Perfect. Probably nerfed anyway, so... 
Yeah, that's a good one. Let me lower this down a bit. more. Uh, we can get away with that. Hey, solar flare, just bare. There you go. Let's try a secondary one. Oh yeah, both looking good. I'll take both of those. Put those in the logs. It's look good. That's a good little view. Alright. Enough scenic route. Badass over here, I might be able to get a good shot of this too. Yeah, this thing is, man, this thing is on top of this planet here around this. It's got an odd rotation. Alright, casual. Casual right there. I don't know what we're doing, planet reverse? Stop. We stop? There you go. Got some gunfire over there. It's pretty. Pew, 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 pew. Wow, they're blasting each other. There we go. There we go. That's nice, too. Yeah, right there. Right through the window. Back it up. Nice. Like it. That dude starts shooting over here. I'll blast his ass. There, we'll save both of them. Well, that's all good ones. Never really catch this one on the way around where it's all perfect. All right, go it. Forty-one. No one else. Just that. Dude. Right. He's in there. Give him lots of time. It's hard. Perfect. Took a couple of pictures while we were waiting. He's in there. Landed already. 41. Now, this one's right over here. Yep. I'm on it, buddy. Right on the little dot. Lined up. Follow the line, right straight through. Casual, casual, casual. Keep her lowered, right to the front. Casual. Coast it, coast it. Right down, down, down. Smooth. Zero repairs, not a frickin' scrap. Landing successful. Commencing offload. The Imperial flight operations bureau welcomes you to this facility, Commander. Uh huh. I'm here. Cash out this guy. And. Scratch my ship. 20. Right there. A little scratch. Fuck that up. Alright. Little bastards. A little reallocation with the shield power grid, and we're back in. No problem. Your ship is released. You may leave when ready. Ready. Leaving when ready means it's my turn. So we're going. Go I'm out of here. much heavy traffic I've been flying. It's full of frickin' pirates. Alright. Hey, Waiting on you. Unlock me. Let me go. Take a second to pull out the gravity field of this big bastard. And closer. A 
literally on top of it. Can't get any closer to this freaking plant. Awfully close. This starport is like moving in a sort of elliptical, not quite round orbit. So it gets closer and closer to that planet. It's kissing the exclusion zone on there. That's what it's doing. So either they scaled up the planet and it's got that issue. Or they made a change in some other measurement and it's truncated down measurement from the star because of it. So its orbital from central is now squished. So it's got a weird orbital instead of a round orbital now. So that does happen quite often when they do that. So they forget to take a walk around. This is that, like I said before. You gotta look in all directions. Make sure you check all that. It's all triangulation. So if you move something, you've moved other things, not just the thing you're moving. Gotta really look. So let's just simply pause in that instance. Change this. Now what else does this do? Take a look around. Got it all? Hey, perfect. Back at it. Continue on. Takes less work to do it in the instance than it does after when you're like, the frick is going on. Lost an Oculus inside. Most of the people are flying into this place. They're clipping the exclusion zone. Now they're stuck inside gravitational trying to approach the starport. They gotta go through gravitational of the planet, fly out every time to get into the starport's entrance point, which happens. There's one that's like that. It's literally inside. The envelope for the entrance and the exclusion zone of the planet is like this. It is literally like that. So you have no choice. You have to go inside the planet's entry in order to get into the, the stupid star base. I was like, what happened here? It's an asteroid base and it's really badass. The view is awesome, of course. Because obviously, flying out, you're looking at this cool-ass planet, but... It's not really a great planet to be getting into because it's got some gravity. So trying to get out of there is also slow. Slow on the approach and slow to leave. That one was setting like that for, I don't know, it had to be six months they had it like that before they went in and noticed that they had a problem there with all the different service calls that said, hey, can you fix this? So then they took it and they moved it on the outside of the rings instead of on the inside of the rings. Because the rings were super close and they tried to fit it between the rings and the planet well that doesn't work not on that one it's way too close so they fixed it and later on they added an even more badass asteroid base in that same year and i said well that one was cool but it doesn't take the coolest one this one is now the coolest megan that was got pretty badass setup Love that one. It's too bad you can't do what I want to do there and move your stuff. Because I would love to move my stuff. But I can't really do it. So they expand all that on there. Get some more slots in there. Move the ships out, move the modules. Take some of these outposts like the Shablezzle Blezzle station there and blotter. They they absolutely need to put an Oculus in there of some kind. Or expand the base out. Take expanding the base at least enough so you can bring some ships over there we need a hangar bay there and we need to be able to do some other module stuff they don't have it, so they got to do that at least do that they could add that um there's another wing there that would expand the trade there too because it's, it's kind of limited can't really hold as much as some of the other markets because again it's outpost type thing so they can't really do what they could do there obviously position great no oculus so it's like you gotta make some ad adjustments get some planet side stuff would be fine i wouldn't mind that they could do a little bit there outpost something sizable or make another outpost because there's more than one location they could do that get something decent there's another location they could put an oculus not right where shablezzle is they could leave shablezzle is fine expand it out so obviously you can get some ships there but add the oculus elsewhere in the system there's a couple of really cool locations. That's what I would do. They can't change it initially. They could bring one in somewhere else. Leave Shablezzle there. And slowly break Shablezzle Station down. And relocate it to the other mining location. Rename the, the facility. And make the Oculus Starport now Shablezzle Station. You know, 
slow transition of taking power from one object and moving it to the other, decommissioning and repurposing elsewhere. It's basically the process. He's so good. They had an outpost back by the mining section there. You could really capitalize on trade and travel. That would be the place. That would be awesome. Tell the first one we just nailed. We go around. Gotta work with this again. Get the position to make that effect. No problem there. Blast this big stuff, huh? This bastard. Fuck that now, we can try and park around. Okay, so like bricks? Yeah. I'll wait to shoot. Not like you, you dummy. It's okay. We still can't get through. Nothing happened yet. Low grade in there, buddy. Casual yes. This sound good. That really pissed him off. He's awfully upset by that. Wait. Wide circles here. Yeah. Keep saving. I'm still here. I'm still here, guy. That really makes him mad. Really. Trying, but he's nerfed himself. I'm already in nerf already. I could have I, I clipped him real hard in that. He actually ran right into the legs. He's offline. Crush him. He's all messed up. Keep shooting, Jeffers. Let me get you into position, buddy. There you go. Laterals, he'll mess us on everything. He literally ran right into us. Full on purposeful, my friend. I'll take a couple of hits. My shield will hold, so I still have my shields. Yes, that's the game. That 14, that was dead nuts right in his face. Wait for him. Shoot two of them this time. Bye bye. Bye, criminal frostbite or whatever you want to call yourself. There. You can get us under 15%. Gone. Destroyed. Alright, we're out of here. Where's my little stop? Holdings is 2,000. It's way over. Alright, let's go. Back to port. Jefferson, you're on shields. I gave you it all, buddy. It's all you. You can do that, I'll do this. Shields are at 35%, 36, 37. Oh, get them up. What do you mean? I gave them full pips. that A class. Slow to go down and also slow to go back up. But the D class will help boost it up quicker once it gets past 50. 
B will take over when he gets past 60, and then it'll start juicing back up. It'll happen pretty quick. You got it, Jefferson. It's all you, buddy. I'm cruising and you're on shield DP. You just tell me when they're done. We're kicking back 100% still. And we'll go back and we'll, um, let's see. Go around that back section, come in from that other side, and try to catch them coming from that direction. We should be able to do it. Just offset those other two waste of time missions, more or less. Because that's what those were. Where are these two? What are they? Trups? They're doing so, they're flying around. Sure. Just chilling, right? Chilling too. Head to the star base. You didn't tell me they were at max, Jefferson. Good, buddy. Jefferson should say, Shields back online. Shields at 50%. Shields at max. Those are his three lines dealing with shields. Those are the three he should be saying. We're missing two of them. So might end up having to do a reset over here again because I'll probably lose menus and I won't be able to get in the menus. I won't be able to do it. Most likely. Might get lucky. Didn't get too bad on that one. We were flying without interruption. It was flying and we were flying. It's a little bit, but that wasn't it doing that. That was because there was other stuff. He bogged down. It purposefully doing it. It was just in operation doing it. It was a lot of stuff. I was pulling some shit out of my ass, literally. Keep us in position there, and then he fucked up. Literally ran right into our wing there and clipped it. That was a mistake on their part. I went to rotate, but he hit boost at the same time I was rotating. It literally ran right into me. Knocked his, his own self off. So he threw himself to a stop off to the side and was down with his own shields. I said, well, that's it for you. I mean, that's it. You did all that on your own. Because the B-class module's on that side. So he hit it right where the B-shield is. So it did not drop. That's why my shields didn't go down when he hit me. He would have hit me on the other side. That's just D-class module over there. Shields would have went down. Because it can't take brunt trauma. It would have dropped the shield layer there for sure. But that's okay. He didn't know which one was what. Sure. Let's go around this a little bit. I'm going to clip past here. Sneak back. Casual. There, we'll miss that gravity lock there. Why right on past? Boop. Yeah, we were at the store. I was going to try to get some different meats and stuff, but man, the freaking thing is like three times as much the price it should be. It's like, this isn't Wagyu. This is just regular old moo cow from Farmer Joe Field type stuff. There's no way this crap is $20 a freaking pound. Kiss my ass on that. Not happening. It's like the frick. Ground prime rib or something, you know? What the hell? So no. Really, it's getting to the point I'm going to buy myself a grinder for me. Because that's the problem. They think that because they have to do work, they can charge... more cuts they have to do, they charge even more for it. They can kiss my ass for that. That's customer service. See the menu's locked. I figure. So that's cool. I literally can't get in. You can see it. It's locked. I'm pressing it. Pressing up, down. Nothing. Got nothing. So I can't get in. So we'll have to do all the same that we just did again, more or less. As far as remapping it, find the dudes, allocations proper, both sides, and then do the whole thing again. Give it a second. No choice. They need to get in there and fix this whole little problem right here. Mission to system stuff is a mess. I'll have to send them a message in one of the two spots. I'll try on both of them. See if I can't. I'll explain it to them. If... Lake home, Juliet 
they want to listen. Show them the layers of it so that they can get in there and do it once and for all and stop it from happening. What it'll end up being is they need to make themselves checklists. Because I know they're in there doing stuff. I'm not against them in there messing with some stuff. Go for it. For sure, it's their space. Make some cool changes. Go for it. But, take a walk around the design when you do it. Because that's what causes this. It's definitely nerfing and it's carryover, but this is preventable. This isn't because we did something. This is preventable. They can fix easy. 1-1. One, one. Coming in. He's going that. Your approach is good, Commander. Do not adjust course. See it. It's a good approach. Cutting in line. Illicit cargo. But I'll allow it. He's smooth and silky. Eleven's mine. Parking next to each other. Alright. Not entry there, Mr. Cutty Pan. But I'll allow it. Didn't delay me. I didn't delay you. It's getting brave around its pullings. Definitely wasn't going who goes first, that's for sure. See on that. That's all right. As long as there's no delay either, then that's fine. You can cut in line as long as you move your ass. Landing safely completed. You may when ready. Oh, I got a couple of plans in here. First, I'm gonna make contact with our little administrative office here. Cash and little Billy. Keep paying for our bullets. I'll also go over here. Take out the scratch that he put in my ship when he ran into my wing. Little turd. Planning on doing ship to ship bumper car maneuvers. Alright. How was our count? What is our count now? 19. Wiggling them down. As we leave here, we gotta scan again and find the little bastards. Six more ships. 15 hours. We run into some snag ones that just too too toxic, then we'll have to do something different. But we're good. We're leaving the AI and I gotta do it. It's, obviously they're shooting some spicy stuff. Not sure what that one is. Plasma sump purple little bastard. It's near the You have been from the dock. You may leave when ready. They're in here, with definitely gas. I'm going next. It's me. I'm gonna go slow. So you guys have to wait. How about that? Yeah. I like the cut all the fucking line. Alright. Dock in there like crazy people, like you bet. It's fine. No problem. In my way and I wasn't in yours. Scratch anything? Perfect. Now we gotta wait. Get to go. We gotta scan. We gotta go back. Come back. More bullets. Alright, ease up, ease up, casual, casual, casual. Hop in here. Scan this. Switches me from combat mode to scanny mode. Where is the little turds? There's A. Nope. Ooh, we've got luck. It's right next to it. Didn't have to move. Perfect. Now, mode, because it switches you. Don't forget. Back over to menus. Let's check our mod my modulations over here. Our modules. Make sure these are all good. Alright. Looking good. Nothing's changed. Perfect. Love it. Back over here. We're looking good. Combat competent rank is climbing. So what comes after the competent one? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to it too much. I have to check that out. I'm sure they'll let me know. We'll definitely hit that. 
gonna assume as soon as we hit that mission, that's that. So while we're coasting, let's lock these guys. Post it right out of here. Ah. Uh, fuck. A couple more of those, we're good. Fast enough to get in there and get back out. Really gotta get creative. That first missile is my decider. I gotta know what it is. There's always one that's just for the cause, not for the destruction of the ship. I know that one time I popped in there and I had all torpedoes. Every slot on my ship was torpedoes. I hopped in the instance. I did nothing but maneuver into position, waited for Toro Toro to turn around and come at me. And I waited until he was right on me. Then I launched the entire barrage of torpedoes. And then they exploded and their debris flew past me. I closed my hard points down and I locked. Pressed the button one time. I said, there, that's enough of that. Yes. And we left. On the way back, I got interdicted. I had two torpedoes left. It was an eagle. I shot the first torpedo. His shields went down. I shot the second torpedo, and the ship exploded. And then we left. Empty. <laughs> and I went back to the star base. I took off all the torpedoes, and I put my other stuff back on. <laughs> I just couldn't take the target down. He was just, it was just a giant pain in the ass. There's, you reduce the shields down, and then the shields come back on. You target the module that was buff in the shields, and it didn't matter because he would do synthesis and repair it. One module is being repaired and it's back at 100%. I was like, how? They won't let us do it. When clearly we can, that was the whole point of having synthesis, was so that we can repair the stuff on our ship while we're not anywhere near to do that. Like out in black or something. You know, got a little incident, compare everything but the glass. That was the deal. All that development and time spent in, in the game, doing all the testing and everything else, that was the deal for them was the workaround, and they didn't go good on it. They nerfed it. So, BS. They need to go in there and fix it back. Put it in there. Synthesis on everything. Shut a module down, or if it's destroyed, you can go right to that module and repair it. Doesn't matter. I don't care if, what the module is. Unless it's the HUD, it's open for repair. But the other option, which I was thinking about it, on my list, I could put an auto field maintenance unit on the ship. I have that other slot and it really doesn't do too much. I could put one on, it gives me two. In the instance that they pull their BS, which I hate taking it, it's band-aids. But I could put a combat band-aid on by using the auto field maintenance unit and having it repair those modules. Those guns could come back online then instantly. They'd be at 50% functionality, which is fine, and then just go at it, back again. It's an alternative option. I was thinking about it earlier today when I was going through the notes, and that I had done some test runs on it. Not a whole lot. It's been a bit, so I'd have to go back in and check it to see how effective it is currently, because they did mess with those auto field maintenance units. They lowered some stuff down and raised some stuff up, so it depends on what it is. I'll have to check, because they try and make everything where you're anchored to the bubble in Colonia so you don't go out and do stuff. You know, they tether everything so that even though there's nothing out there in the game, you can't be the thing out there in the game kind of thing. Because if they gave you the options, then you definitely could live off-grid with sustainability. You could keep yourself good unless the glass blows up. And even then, you went to a full oxygen-rich atmosphere and landed. It shouldn't matter. I've done it. I fly in there and recharge my life support system. So I've done that literally. HUD's blown out and I got a 45 minute flight back. I went and threw every single planet I could just into the upper atmosphere enough into the tetrasphere or whatever of these places. Just enough inside the planet wake so I could not have to go through the full landing and docking sequence down to the planet. All that entry and, and exit. Just enough so that I could leave again. So, again, risky but also purposeful. a lot of options here. I guess that's going to be the dude. Unless this guy... Yeah, there he is. There he is. They've been hiding them inside here. Real sneaky. 
awfully close to this planet. Casual jumps. Pressing hard at this consistent. Grab the ship already. Wow, awful. Right on the nerf in there. Yeah, you better use that. Good idea. This guy's not as great as I was. Hi, how you doing? Wanna hug? Literally inside my space, there, buddy. Come on, you eat know your nerf for me. Boy, you got a hard nerf on here, but you've actually tethered me to your ship. That had Somehow your shields didn't go down. Awfully interesting. But I'll allow it. Got more than one. Too soon for me. Mr. Spicy can't be there. Wait for it. I'm worried about the damn planet. I don't want to get into the security country in there. That would suck. Right in front of him. So he now has his um, crap online here, so that ain't good. He's hurting me bad. What is he doing? He's doing some awful shallow maneuvers. No way that those aren't blasting through that. That shield layer can't hold it. An anchor. That'll run. It's too much front for us. We'll go over a little different route. I'm in the atmospheric entry here, locked into the planet. It's literally pushed me inside the planet, so I can't fly combat very well. He's in here too. We're both stuck in here. Great job, dummy. We're both stuck. Well, I can't do high speed because we're inside gravitational lock. That's stupid. What's my stupid? Nice try, but not good. Wait. Oh, wait. Wasting my bullets, that's what he's trying to do. I hate turning around on the damn planets there. Just need one pass at this dude. One good pass. Now we get stuck. We're stuck in this damn planet. Which is dumb. This is rough. In combat inside an atmospheric entry? Come on, boys. Down to six. So he's getting mass locked to me when he flies in here. I don't think he realizes how bad he's south on this one. The ship can take all that. It's that one percent. We mana cores on. There. Goodbye, you little turd. Now I gotta get out of the planet. Go ahead and do that. 
Pull me out of here, baby. We got enough juice. There, we're leaving the planet's gravitational pull. What a dummy. Stupid. Thank you, Jefferson. Well, you might as well keep it. Go for it. It's all you. You do it. I'm pulling off the planet here. Keeping an eye on that. That, I'll do this. We're clear. Don't see nothing. Little turd. So what did he get? What was he blasting at? Little bastard. Module reinforcement package, just like the other guy. He's trying to cut his way in, sneaky little bugger. Nice try. I gotta get those upgrades. <laughs> I got... Those those ones are supposed to be the hull reinforcement, and the module's supposed to be on the other slot. That's where I need it, up by the core internals, not by the secondary internals. So they're using that as weak spot, because module reinforcement and hull reinforcement are different stuff. I need hull reinforcement there, so it's, it is a weak spot. So it took them a bit, but they're figuring out where it is. It's definitely a weak spot. It is, for sure, on the ship. No question. That is a weak spot. Those are supposed to be module reinforcement elsewhere. Those have to be hull reinforcement. That, you know, it's low end, but gotta, I gotta put it there. Makes it more tanky, because it's just too light duty there. There's not enough um, overall hull itself there as it allocates it out. What would really be nice is if they had, like, the ship, and then they did, like, locations on the ship where it could take damage instead of the full-on. That's kind of what they're doing with the modules. They're doing it that way, through that way, bypassing it. But it would be nice if it would show that on this reticle. It would highlight a location and go from what it is here and flash it a little bit. So I could see where they're targeting, then I would know right off the bat. Because I gotta go in the menu and find out what is he targeting. Because he's flying awfully specific. And that was his drawback, because when he took that wide arc, he ended up pulling both of us, because we were rubber banding, for sure. But then it lost it, because then we were both... You, it doesn't matter. We're inside atmosphere again, we were both nerfed. <laughs> so you really can't fly a high-speed maneuvers there, you're in the atmospheric entry. There's too much happening in there other alternative mechanics so they supersede the rest it doesn't matter what you try to do in there gravity is the ultimate weapon so for sure it has definitely got us so there's there's no chance there for either ship we're both flying like crap but that's all right good enough so combat in upper atmosphere that's a new one i've only had to do that uh, a couple of times on the PlayStation, and it was rough at the upper part because it was very high temperature planet, so the atmosphere was also hot, so our ships were heating up, trying to fly in there like that. So we were both running high-end thermals. That's not good. I actually had some heat sinks on the ship, so I was popping those in combat just to keep the ship cool because it was like you're trying to peel around, just like when you try to exit a planet that's got good gravity. It'll cook the ship up pretty high trying to leave you know because your engines are given or trying to get off but plus atmosphere right it's awfully spicy so it's hard to do it even then but it's on this here this planet wasn't too spicy temperature wise gravity fields fairly low so we were good both ways there but it could have been bad we could have been running high heat there too which would have hurt them even more because the viper's already hot running the, you watch it goes pew 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 Pew. Pew. It just, it, it's too hot. The guns are overheating. Gotta wait. Plus the module's overdrawn. So we gotta wait for that. So he's completely crippled the ship at that point. Trying to use the engines and pull through the gravity field. It's the three. Mark four, he would have had a little more oomph in there. For sure. It's got a little bit extra. Not much, but a little bit. So we could have done it. A little bit easier for them, but they're adamant. Even the system security likes running those, because they're fast. That's, they want a fast ship. Courier is fast, too. You know? We were there. Ran it through. In and out. It's like high target stuff. It's usually what I take. 
if I got a, a specific target hit and it's close, I'll take the courier because I can go in, hot it up real quick, and then get back up. Instant. Instant done. And leave. It takes me less than two seconds. But I have to be fast. That's why it's set up like it is. It's not designed for taking on a whole bunch of heavy hit stuff. It's designed to take out a specific target very quickly and then leave. Enough to be like espionage strike team stuff. So assassination attempt, I guess you could say that. Like sniper style. Go in and then go back out. That's how I built it. But I can do combat at range. It will hold its own for a bit. It does have enough rounds. What I would like to do is extend how much onboard ammunition it can hold. And then do some lightweight to the hull on the inside internals. Some different stuff there. Strip it down a bit more so it's a little faster than what it already is. Then do a reinforcement to the hull itself with some basics. I need it to be able to handle specific combat stuff so I can gear it up for specific combat stuff. Because we already know what we're using it for. So we'll tweak it specific because I can build it out there. I like to get a little more hit with the guns, but I would prefer it if they just had more bullets. I can make them hit harder by the way we fly it. Oh, I'm targeting the other ship. I can work laterals with that one too. Not as well as I can do with this one. Sideboarding on this one's a lot easier than doing it on the courier, because courier is awfully fast. Courier is good for Toro Toro's type stuff. Corkscrews and running yo yo's and stuff with that are better. But on this one, it's not as great. It's a little tricky. I have to get creative with it, because it's got a lot of weight. But the 8, that's the bread and butter. Combat local, 8. For absolute sure, it's back to gunship mode. Ask destroyer all the way. I just got those module allocations in there. I got to move the module reinforcement and hull reinforcements around a little bit. Lowers the actual overall, but increases the internal, uh, which is perfect. I need a little more on the internal, so it's not as vulnerable once they do punch through. They still got to cut through. You know what I mean? Right now, it's like 60-40 instead of 50-50 protection. 60-40, but I would like it to be typically like the courier 75-25, but it's hard to pull that off on this one. I need it a little bit different, so I wouldn't mind if it was like 55-45 kind of thing. That would be alright. 55-45 would be probably the optimal for the ads. 60-40 isn't the best, and 50-50 isn't so I got to get kind of in between the two. That's the module slot swap. But I got to go find those modules. Those ones aren't the easiest to find. Finding a D-class slot one, not easy. I kind of have to be in some different ships. I think I got a couple of different options. Um, I'll have to look at my notes again. Location-wise, I think I can get most of the parts. Like a couple of systems right by each other. I have to look, but I'm pretty sure that's how I did it before. I think I had it where I docked at the one starport, got most everything, and then I only had to fly like eight or so light years, like two jumps or something to get everything else. Jump there, jump back, jump to the other one, done, kind of thing. So let's see if this one's got us locked out of menus once again. Five. Trick is out. Okay. Right when I go through the door, maybe? Farther in the back. the door. I went in. Casual. Operations. 
Not worth as much for that dude, but clearly he was having some problems. Alright, advance. Give her. And then, pause. Five left. All here. Looking good. So we're looking great. Five more dudes. Five? Five. Do I take a break and then come back? Let's check the time again. 14 hours. Let me check how long we've been on. Let's see. Let me check. No frames dropped at all. For all time, set. So what I think I'll do... Uh, oh, what the hell? I have all messages. Didn't see anybody's messages. Sorry, guys. I have it on all messages, but it's not pulling through. I didn't know. Um... Hold on. Let me hop over here and see what everybody was chit chat. Missed it. So I'm connected right to it. Got the secondary device on there, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to cut it right off, <laughs> for sure. I'm I'm in uh, solo. I don't play in open when I'm doing this stuff. It's too much other things in motion. It already is nerfing in there, so I don't do that. I don't know why it's not. Uh, let me let me hop out on here. I'll do that. I'll hop out on this, and then I'll go back in and see if for some reason it just didn't catch it. Because this runs off of the satellite. Okay, so there it is. It popped it all back up on here. So this must have dropped. It just it just ended up dropping this for some reason. I'll have to what I'll have to do is once we're in stream for a bit, I'll have to go in here and then um check it about midway through. Because so I think it cuts it off after a certain amount of time. So I missed I missed the stuff in chat there. Sorry about that. That wasn't my fault. That's that's a new thing that they put inside here for this, so it doesn't stack up too much. Because people were complaining it was using too much data and stuff like that. But I'm on the Wi-Fi, so I ain't using any data at all. So it should have bypassed that. I'm, I've got this connected right to the Wi-Fi. So they put a lockout, but it's affecting everything. So that sucks. Change this back to all messages, so I can see everything. So... Popped it in. So we got five more dudes left. It's five. We stick to the script on this. We definitely could keep hotting it up. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll hop over. I don't mind. Let's keep on going. I don't remember how long it is on the tube there for the limitation. Can't remember. I don't want it to cut out while we're in the middle of it. So what I might do is I'll end this stream. I'll get something to eat because it's my breakfast time more or less. Then we'll hop back in here and we'll finish it off. The last five. We've got 15 hours to take out five targets, so I think we'll be good there, no problem. We'll have to scan everything again, of course, and all that. So let's hop back to the up close. So, yeah, sorry. After it's on there for a bit, um, I forgot about that. They had that come down inside there where it's it drops that. I, I was going to go back in there and check it, but I got stuck in the combat there and I forgot. <laughs> so that's my fault. I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Go back in there and reping chat to make sure chat is popping up everything out there. Because it just goes to default and it stops. It only pulls so much data through on the mobile devices when you're running the app for it. And that's what I got. I got it running the app. I think alternatively, instead of using the app, there is an alternate option. I can go directly to the YouTube channel through the Google more or less and not use the app, but it's not as optimized. I'd be looking at low grade instead of at the quality that I could see it on this device. That's kind of a drawback. What I'm actually going to end up doing is I got this expansion for the, um, 
the, the laptop gives me two more secondary screens. It like widens out my, my screen here to two more secondary screens. They're half screens. I can power them in through and pull up whatever on them, get different desktops going. What I'll do is I'll pull up chat from OBS here and pull it over there. Then I can be able to see it, but I don't have any way to do that unless I get a, uh, like a splitter or something like that. I don't want to run one of those on this. So it's already doing a bunch of other stuff. So I'll end up doing that also at the same time frame that I'm getting the chair. Because I might do a camera upgrade, one more notch. Get a 4K one for later when they do upgrade to that. And uh, the audio will be part of that package in that instance, whatever it ends up being. So, so sorry I missed the comments in chat there. I didn't get didn't see those so that that dropped that was that wasn't intentional i had it all lined up in there for the first six hours <laughs> but it kind of dropped out there but so yeah i'll hop off i'll get something to eat and then we'll hop back in and do the last five um that'll give it a bit too because i know the servers do drop down around this time frontier side they switch servers or do something around in there and it'll start creating some lag and server banding in there just from it doing that however it reallocates those servers because like i said that's been times when i've been living in the space i was in elite online logged in for a very long time playing continuously so i know how they kind of do some transitions in there so i'll hop off appreciate it thanks for watching don't forget subscribe don't forget uh, notifications, all that good stuff. A lot of stuff on the channel. And I will see you in the next one, which will be shortly.